This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Without a healthy mind, being happy is hard. Visit BetterHelp.com slash peer and see if online therapy is for you. Yo, that podcast people listen one only legend of winning, a.k.a. Lo. We're here with another episode of Peer to Peer. We hear another episode of Peer to Peer, to Peer Podcast on my love and my co-host, Agent Zero. Say what up. Mom, does he have a ski mask? Got one on, bro. Got one on. Agent John, say what up. <laughs> no more locked doors. Don't lock them no more with me around. You know who you sound like, bro? Smiley. You know that guy Drake made a song with from Toronto? I don't know who he is, but don't lock no more doors because I'm not smiling on the other side of the locked door. Don't lock them. He kind of does. He sounds like him. Like, like, um, uh, him, he, like when he's trying to mix his Hispanic but still overpowering East Atlanta tone. <laughs> it, it does hey, sound like it's smelling like funny. Stop talking to me like that, and I'm not from that hood. That is crazy. I haven't stop heard that it. in decades. Yeah, that's smiley. That is smiley. Yeah. No, I'm not. Do I look like I'm smiley? Hold on. Could you say the lyrics real quick? What are the lyrics? Let me get them for you, John. Come on, home. You know why that I song get down. Was- People people casually pass by how Drake dead ass carried. Well, Smiley did a good job too. No cap. Okay. All right, John. Can you say this? Can you repeat after me? Prada and Gucci. Prada and Gucci don't go together. Prada and Gucci they don't go together. Louis and Dior. Wait, I so swear have you heard this song before? Huh? Have you heard this song before? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He wear my drip, but I wore it better. He wore my drip, but I wore it better. Kalani Gang, I swear it go wetter. Say it again. Kalani gang, I swear it go wetter. Kalani gang, I swear it go wetter. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Gomo. Gomo. Uh, Come on, let's get into the intro. <laughs> Goonies? <laughs> let's go. Uh, yo, shout out to my podcast. We on all audio platform, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. But on this episode specifically, shout out to my word of mouth people out there who were spamming Ooh. us all on Twitter with the Spotify wrap-ups. We thank y'all so, so much. Oh. All that love and support y'all were giving us all day long on Twitter. Uh, shout out to my YouTube people as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to join Noti Gang, 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 Gang. Mm. And click all the links in the description. And again, shout out to Word of Mouth people on Twitter, on um, on TikTok, and, and IG, and everywhere else, man. And also the Word of Mouth people out and about, man. I'm starting to see a little bit more people, you know, recognize me. Yo, yo, uh, good, you good, you good. I've seen a lot of people recognize me for a playback and peer-to-peer recently. I want to say a play, yeah, playback and peer-to-peer, which is getting crazy. A lot of girls watch it. Yes. Yeah. It's actually my favorite part. I didn't know that. Is you, like, didn't know, you didn't know that many girls watch this? No, I didn't know that many girls be watching peer-to-peer like that, but you know Not I a diversity is, like, cool. I'm it's getting, crazy. because of peer-to-peer and playback, people that's older, like, people that's in their late teens and early 20s, it's crazy that that's older. Yeah, no. But... I've seen a lot more people like that and a lot more women too. I've seen a lot more um yeah, old older people recognize me like grown adults who are like my age. Again, we keep saying older and we're also in our twenties, but I guess I'm an old fuck in terms of internet. Um You beat me to it. <laughs> I was waiting on it. Um but yeah, yeah, shout out to the word of my people, man. Um anything important I want to st- start with before I get into my What are you about to get into, man? You got my big Tesla time. Oh man! First of all, if y'all don't have a Patreon yet, get the Patreon, bro. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of like content with the Tesla over on Patreon, mm. trying to get that up real quick. Mm. But man, gold digger pranks, yeah. gold digger pranks is crazy. Yeah. Having niggas pay Patreon for gold digger pranks is nuts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, the Tesla just literally just picked up the Tesla like two hours ago before I got here. Mm. Maybe maybe two two or three hours ago. Mm. And just drove it around. First of all, what model you get? I got the Model X, man. Mm. I got the Model X P one hundred D. Got the got that performance, dog. Not Ooh. gonna hold you, bro. Skating on the highway, no cap. You got the yeah. moisture package. What's that one? What is that? You can ask for it. Well, they put lotion to each of the cup holders on the bottom. And they stack the. Uh, nah, the I don't think. He, I don't think he wants that, that one. No. Nah, nah, I get that he one. didn't bring it up to you. No, 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 no. I got everything else though, but not the lotion package. No. Oh, I thought you got the moisture package. No, 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 no. The moisture no, package. No, 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 no. But um, yeah, man, I've only had it for a couple of hours, and by far, well, it's the most expensive thing I've ever owned. But also, it's like easy one of the most funnest things I've ever owned. Is that the word funnest? It's not the most fun. Most fun. Easy one of the most fun things I've ever owned in my life, bro. It's like crazy skating on a highway. 
And I've even I've only done I've only put it in ludicrous mode for like a little bit because I want to make sure I had enough charge to come there and back, which I I do. But you said what? You have to have enough charge for ludicrous mode. Oh yeah, he didn't explain. That's like launch control on uh on Teslas. So uh so there's a there's a ludicrous and there's ludicrous plus. So the ludicrous plus, like he said, is a launch control where you just when you're at a standstill. Is it called ludicrous? Yeah, it's called ludicrous. Like the rapper? Yeah. Well, ludicrous is an actual word, so. Oh, what does it mean? You didn't know ludicrous was ludicrous a word? Ludicrous means like. I thought it was his rap name. Hold it on. Go, wait, wait. It, you're right, but you didn't oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, but Like the word don't... ludicrous alone exists. When someone says ludicrous, that means like that's crazy or like. Exactly, yeah. Oh. You knew the answer to that, John. Yeah, why did you? No, but I heard the word like, man, that's ludicrous. But I'm thinking mm-hmm. ludicrous, the rapper. So you think every time somebody says that's ludicrous, they, they referring to the rapper? I forgot it was a real word. Okay. I thought it was a name at first. So you brought That's it the most up. Atlanta shit <laughs> that I've is, heard that of my is. life. <laughs> How entitled of Atlanta nigga do you got to be to believe that a word no longer exists? Because <laughs> So they call the Tesla launch control ludicrous? They call it ludicrous plus. Ludicrous plus. Ludicrous plus is crazy. <laughs> yeah, plus is crazy. Like ludicrous wasn't enough. Because I ain't gonna lie, ludicrous, the, like the ludicrous mode, for, so there's a chill They're mode. really on that nigga dick right now. Does it come with his album? <laughs> That's crazy. It's such, it's such an Atlanta thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chill mode, a sport mode, a ludicrous, and ludicrous plus. The chill and sport sport mode for like a regular car is already like already better in it. Ludicrous is like on par with some like like entry level sports cars, but the ludicrous plus is like that's the craziest launch control. Are you out of your mind? Ludicrous mode is not an entry level sports car. What do you think it is? Sports cars are slow. Those are like Mazda Miatas what do you and think like it is? Supras. What do you think it is? Like a. Like the fastest performance car. <laughs> That's what performance mode matches up to. Not the fastest, no. There is no car on the Luda, road. No, no, no. I'm just talking about strictly ludicrous. I'm aware. There's no car on the road that is losing to a performance model Tesla. That's not like a Cohen yeah, seg. You have to put it in a. You have to put it in ludicrous plus yeah, to do what you're talking about. You can race in comfort mode and you're still dusting everybody. You're not. No, I was. I was driving. It. You're not dusting everybody. Marcel. You're not dusting. You're not dusting everybody in I'm comfort. I'm telling you because those are the only people I've ever lost to in races. Are they putting in comfort or are they putting in ludicrous? It doesn't matter. It, I'm telling you right now, it legitimately, there's there's such a significant difference. Dean, he has a car for two hours. You can't tell this nigga nothing. <laughs> this nigga, have you ever drove one? <laughs> no, Come I on. haven't drove a okay, performance Okay, so the nigga's eight. never drove it. I've driven thousands, I'm, t- thousands of gas. Okay, I'm just saying, like he had the car before. When you put it in ludicrous for 120 mode, minutes. Just, the transmission just goes into the most sporty transmission. I'm, so it reacts faster to your... Pump on the gas. I'm telling you right now, there's a noticeable difference between comfort I'm and ludicrous. I'm not saying there isn't. I'm saying you in the easiest mode is dusting every vehicle on the road that's not a supercar or a hypercar. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Uh, no. I bet a Honda Accord beat you. <laughs> no. See, those cars, no. Okay, we if we talking about like Honda Accords and Toyotas, then yeah, I'm dusting those cars. A nigga with a Honda Accord and a zip in the back and <laughs> okay. the tent falling off. Betty beats you. And the windows busted. Those niggas so are nasty. Like I actually saw a nigga like that today. <laughs> nigga had a Camry with fucking lights underneath to hit the fucking car. And yeah. I was like, I don't even do shit like that, dog. Like, what are you talking about? And he had a fucking um, exhaust and he was like hitting his gas. Yeah. And I was like, okay, bro, you're doing a lot right now. So just calm down. You have what a regular. You, you got a, He got an LE too. I was like, bro, you, know you have saying? a. You got to put that on there so you let them know you outside so you don't text them. So you know, can't you can't, you can't like, um, you can't underestimate vehicles, though. You can't do that. No cap, bro. First day I got my Audi. I underestimate that shit. Nah, first day I got my Audi. Keep in mind, it has 315 horsepower, so it's, a, it's an SQ5, but it's not fast. It was by far my slowest vehicle when I got it. Yeah. Man, there was a G37, an Infiniti G37 that pulled up on me. I mean, I'm thinking like, yo, bro, are you trying to do something? He revved, he, he revved his engine, and, you know, I was like, all right, say less. Bro, I lost. The first day I got the car, I lost Dang. to a G37. Now, I don't know if you know what a G37 is, yeah. but that is an entry-level car. So, but all of that to say, like, you don't know what's under the hood. You don't know how don't someone know tuned it. Like a generic three series BMW, you can tune that to like 500 horsepower. That's more than that. Just, just, just so people know, well, on Ludacris Plus, the uh, Tesla Model X can get to over, I think, 740, I think 747 horsepower. Huh? 747 yeah, that's horsepower. That's a fast vehicle, bro. But it's not the horsepower on a Tesla that makes not, it fast. No, it's it's not. the instant it's torque. The, yeah, it's the instant torque. Yeah. It's, there's no like gears. It just it's just like that's keeps what going. Say. Up. That's what, that's what no, the girl be saying. It has gears. 
Nah, it don't feel like it. If it does, it definitely don't feel like it. It just has a great transmission. I always think No, it doesn't. It's a battery. How does it have gears? Bro, it has gears, dog. Do you have paddle shifters? No. Do you have there's no way to manually upshift no. the downshift? It's just it just goes. It's nothing. It must just be a great chance, man. I can't imagine a car without it's just, gears. It's just one gear just goes. That doesn't make sense though. I know what you're saying. I know. If I know. It, if I know. It just had one gear, then when you were going, when you go over like 30 miles per hour, it would be redlined. It would just keep going. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, what I'm saying, like, do you know? Do you know what redlining is? No, when no. your RPM goes like past. Oh yeah, it keeps that keeps going up. Yeah. So it just it goes back. No, no, no. It just keeps going. It never like stops and goes back, and it don't. I do have that. to drive it. I never knew that. It's very interesting. It just goes like if you it's it goes so much like that to where if you don't if you don't you'll because when you're driving a regular car you feel it you're right you feel it and if you don't feel it when you're looking at the fucking dash you see it top off then go back then climb back up and then go mm. back you don't see that in yours you don't see it it just keeps going straight mm. to the point where I can casually be thirty miles per hour casually put my foot on the gas or the acceleration. Look up, look back down, and I'm already at like 60, 70, mm. just like that. Like you don't feel nothing; it just goes. You don't feel like under the hood. You don't feel the gear there's shifting. Nothing on, there's nothing under the hood. There, you don't feel no. There's no gear shifting. Why is it so hard for me to believe? It's like destroying everything I knew about vehicles right now. Elon Musk. Crazy. Maybe it's because like when you have a car, you could if you if you can't feel it, you could easily hear your exhaust because when it shifts, there's a. I don't feel tune. it though. I don't feel it like catching Whatever. itself to go back down. I'll, I'll try it and see how it is. That means Davis has never driven a car because he has a Model Three, but he has a regular Model Three. <laughs> no, if Damn. bro, if yours, if yours, that means it applies to all of them. Well, I don't know what year he has too. This is probably what the you same get, thing. You know? I got twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, that's he should have like a 2018, 2019. Mm-hmm. I don't know why this doesn't do that. That's Tough. really interesting. Dude, wait, hold on, I gotta Google this because when they stop is, making them, they don't make any twenty twenty ones. No, they do, but the twenty, the twenty eighteen. The reason why I ask because I know for a fact twenty, um, anything older than twenty eighteen, they've like there's a lot of different pieces in it. That's the reason why I had to get at bare minimum a twenty eighteen. You're right. Teslas have a one speed automatic. What, what the mean? fuck? What does that mean? It like, doesn't. It doesn't shift. Like when, for example, like the Ford Raptor had like a ten speed automatic, so there's ten gears. You feel me? So yeah. uh, 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 that's you uh, upshifting new gear, new gear, new gear, yeah. new gear. So your shit is go. Wow! It just stop. It just that's it. Just, and when you're driving it, you won't. You know, you make that noise. You just and your door closes by itself. Yeah. All Teslas have that. Told you. Don't you got games? Don't you got games? I got games too. Yeah. Can I eat like McDonald's and play games? I guess, Joe. <laughs> you can watch Netflix too. You can play um, car karaoke. Can I Netflix and chill in there? You could technically. I'll watch it. That's really fucking cool. I watch it. Wow. Yeah, there's no gears. So there's like there's no way you could even make an error in a race. Nope. Because like when you usually race, you put it in manual mm. so you can go faster. Nope. And then you have to downshift and upshift properly before you. Wow. You got the windows in it. I just I just got it, John. Like two hours ago, bro. <laughs> yeah, literally two hours. But I am gonna get the windows in there. I'm gonna Chrome delete you, everything. You get it tinted, I'm gonna hit you up. What does Why? that mean? What does that? Yeah. What does that mean, John? <laughs> what does that? What does that mean? You know what's crazy? What I was thinking about. Okay. <laughs> I was like just pivot immediately. <laughs> I was like. What if Santa Claus is really bad? Now think about it. What? Now, now hear me out. Hear me out. Santa Claus being bad what is if, crazy. What if? Ain't no way a naughty what, nigga gonna make a fucking nice and naughty list see, all fucking year long. Nah, nah. What if he was so bad, but he used the gifts to make him look good? So he sneaks down your chimney. But what, but what does he? But what does he do? W, but w. wait, wait, wait. What, but what does he Santa do to make we, him we, naughty though? Okay, so listen to me. Listen. Okay, I'm not. So also, would you want a bad person? FYI, FYI, I'm not. I'm not calling that nigga naughty no more. Just FYI, just that was just a one time thing. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna just say not nice. All right. Okay, but Santa Claus, I'm gonna call him naughty because that's the word he uses. So Santa Claus is really, really naughty. And look, hear me out. So think about this: elves could possibly be slaves taking kids. Whoa! So Who he comes down the chimney. No, they don't he doesn't take the cookies. He takes some kids. Hold on, John. But he drops off some drifts. So like the kids that parents are not home or deep sleepers, he'll take the kids. And the reason why their ears are pointy, because Mrs. Claus, when they don't make the 50 inches or the PS5s fast enough, she pinches their ears and it makes them sharp. Why do I feel like John spends time on like 
conspiracy Reddit. But look, 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 and then the reason why they don't get old, you know, like animals adapt. Remember, there was like birds that were kept getting eaten. They got wings and they start to fly. Evolution. So the kids there, Santa says, you're gonna go to the. Ooh, uh, Are you high? No, I'm sober. Cause you dead ass just said a bunch of words. Birds with wings, evolution. Ooh, uh, that, that's that's <laughs> hey, what you just said look, so for like now. three sentences. Look, so that's what makes it look so nice. But nobody ever been to North Pole. Oh. So he takes a kid yes, out there. there there's yes, plenty have, of people bro. in the North Pole. What huh? are you talking about? Yep, they to have. the North Pole. Yes. Yeah, Santa Claus be at. You, you can, can literally abroad, take pictures. Like, you can take pictures of North Pole. People, plenty of people have been there. You can vacation there. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm talking about that's they. That's the North Pole, but that's not where Santa Claus is at. I don't think I don't I don't think seven year olds watch this podcast, so we we don't have I'm to. I'm trying front. to save them. So if you have brothers and sisters, let them know that that would be very odd. That every Christmas there was like this mass reporting of like child abduction. Exactly, and he takes them there, and then he makes stop, do some research stop, on it. Stop, because he said exactly to what the bullshit you just said. I know. He and listen, he's like, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the reason why the elves don't get old? They evolve. So Santa's like, I'm gonna put you How out of the cold. Evolving? You're gonna what? die unless you stay young. So they involve their bodies to never get old. How is that evolving? That's not evolving. Mm-hmm. It's adaptation. Never, yeah. never aging is literally the opposite of yeah, evolving. It's literally it's the opposite. But the, they bring the kids there that age. But once you get there, you have to train your body to stop aging. Because you get old, you die. You can't be an old ass elf. I guess, John. Yep. I'm glad we thought through this hypothetical, man. Yeah. Just let them know because it's December first. Kids are getting all excited when your parents buy you gifts. Who even made up Santa Claus? Think about it. Think about it. He's real. You ever seen him? Okay. He's at every mall. <laughs> yeah. He let kids sit in their lap. Yeah. He was. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Let, letting a nigga who's a child. No, me not. It's crazy, right? I'm just thinking about it. If Santa Claus really was abducting children. And then showing up at random malls and letting them sit in his lap, he's nasty. That nigga's just nasty. Think about he it. He needs to get stopped today. He, Cause I stopped going to Santa Claus. My mom said Bro, she stopped taking me because I got uncomfortable. Right I know. About? I'm just I'm just running through his hypothetical. He puts you on his lap, grabs me by my waist, and asks me what I want for. Have I been naughty or nice? And I'm gonna say I've been nice, even though I may have been partially naughty between the year. Frequent. Everybody been a little naughty. But I'll tell him I've been saying, nice. Can you, all right, stop, can you, yeah, stop saying that word. Sit on his lap. Right, John, stop, stop saying that word. Stop saying what? you're naughty. Stop saying that word. Oh, bro. so you sit on his lap and ask you. He looks you dead in your face and say, what do you want me to bring you for Christmas? What did y'all say when I didn't celebrate Christmas? I was thinking we, I what did y'all did, tell Santa? I did as only did it like once or twice. And when I was younger, I, I don't remember what I said. What did you say, John? Huh? Were you, were you a frequent s- a lap sitter? Well, you, I was on a standard. I had to sit there. Okay. I don't want to say, but you frequently What'd did you that? What'd you tell him, dog? Uh, no, I stopped like around. What'd you tell him? I remember eight. Uh, whatever game system about to come out, maybe. <laughs> how how often did Santa show up that, that Christmas with a game system? Um, a couple. He showed up with a system. It may not be the one I asked for, but it was on the list too. Damn, that's There's a lot of on the list I never got. How yep. deep was your list? Huh? How deep was it? That shit was deep. Like 20? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? I put more effort in my Christmas list than my book reports. <laughs> that motherfucker was deep. <laughs> I found everything. No cap. Am I, am, fried am, chicken. Am I a psychotic um, parent if I like refuse to tell my um, child like Santa doesn't exist? I mean, you gonna be a real parent. You gonna lie to your kids? I want them to know nah, that but this I, is my money. That's what I'm saying. I want, I want them niggas to know, like, I, I gave <laughs> you that. Let's be clear. Ain't yeah, no is, white nigga. Oh, my God. Santa Claus got me nothing. everything I want. No, nah, that shit that's going, why I don't like you, Dad, because you don't buy me nothing. That shit going to say, that shit gonna say Dad across the fucking shit all Bro, day. If your child is telling you that's why I don't like you, Dad, you've already lost. What man. is it? That JJ Fish? Huh? That JJ Fish? No. Nah. Uh-huh. This is um, Arnold's. Hey. Arnold's Ice Bar. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm 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 gonna have to tell my um I'm gonna have to tell my child. Yeah, that nigga don't exist. I'm I'm buying these gifts. Fuck it. Let's be clear. I'm telling you to go to sleep early so I can wrap them downstairs, dog. That's it. You don't don't I ain't find a stash spot. You know, honesty is the best policy. I'm not even gonna really hide them that much either. They're gonna be in in there somewhere. I think there's gonna be parts of my life I'm gonna be a horrible parent because I'm not gonna care. 
Like the Easter Bunny, no, that nigga don't exist either. I put those eggs in the outside the backyard, hiding them. Yo, your child's gonna grow up like real cynical. <laughs> Two fairy, nope, that's me, nigga. I put that dollar bill that back there. Everything for other kids. Yo, one time he probably will. <laughs> yo, bro, one time my tooth was loose. Every time my tooth gets mad loose, I don't like telling my mom because she's gonna be like, "Pull it out." I'm like, "Want chill? Let's <laughs> give it some time." <laughs> but she be like, "Try just pull it out." One time she's like, "Yeah, keep it under your pillow now." A tooth fairy is going to come. Now, I put my tooth under my pillow, and I didn't want to sleep because I wanted to catch the tooth fairy, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, all right. I eventually go to sleep. I wake up. I'm super excited. I look under my pillow. My tooth is still there. So I'm like, yeah, mom, my tooth fairy didn't pull up tonight. What went on? And she's like, oh, tooth fairy probably just busy. So she's like, just put it back there tomorrow night. I was like, all right, say less. Yeah, two so, day old too. You dead ass fell, fell for that. Yeah, like, so then I was like, you're right, all right, she mom. probably is busy. She, she, I guess she has so many teeth to take care of. So then, <laughs> so then, uh, so then I went to sleep the next night and I made sure it was there. I was like, I looked at it. It was still a little bloody. I put some new tissue around it and then boom, I put it you under my pillow. That's it bloody? Yeah, I was just real eager. I was real <laughs> eager. <laughs> You get extra money? I was real eager, guys. I just really wanted my money. Nigga had bloody teeth under his pillow for two days. That's crazy. So then I put it under my pillow again. I woke up and I look under. I'm super excited to see money. And my tooth is still there. At this point, I'm like, Mom, Tooth Fairy is not doing his job. Like, I'm highly upset. Like, I can't keep going to sleep this excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up frustrated every morning, Mom. So then she's like, all right, just leave it there. Try not to think about it. Tooth Fairy is eventually going to come. So I'm starting to lose faith in the Tooth Fairy, man. I'm like, man, this Tooth Fairy, uh, she's done great things for other people, but she's not living up to her standards for me. So anyway, third night I go to sleep. I wake up, and no exaggeration, it was like $5 on the pillow. Mm, you're crazy, right? And I was like, Mom, she gave me five dollars. <laughs> That's it? No, but think so about interest. No, think about as a child. I'm gonna say, is that a lot? Interest? That's not a lot, that's right? A lot. No, that's little. That's a lot. Five dollars is a lot. How much do your parents give you for your tooth fairy? No, you have to think. Maybe some coins. The only thing I yeah, care, I got a dollar, maybe a couple coins. The only, the only, the only thing, the only things we celebrate was Eid. So there's two of those a year, and each Eid I might get like forty dollars from like different family members. So like a total. Of, I'm sorry. You just have a large mouth. <laughs> you just have a large mouth. I had to look. Um, so throughout the course of the year, all the money I would save from festivities would total up to like $80, right? Okay. Now, that would buy me one game. So that's that's how I think about things. I'm like, damn, bro. It's about to, I got to think, like, what could I afford for $5 at GameStop? That's how I was thinking about it. I'm going to so tell then, you right so now. Then, so then, oh, two weeks later, my another tooth got loose. I'm like, my mom, my tooth is loose. I'm lit. So... I immediately pull it out. I'm crying because, you know, it was mad painful. Like, we, she yanked it out. And um, I put it under my pillow again. I got another $5. And I'm thinking, okay, I could afford a $10 game now. A few weeks later, Eid was around the corner. I got, like, like $20 from my parents and, like, some, like, maybe $10, $20 from, like, other family members. $40 total. And, you know, now I'm looking at a AAA title. You feel me? Mm. Like, the new Call of Duty's around the corner. And I, and I might be able to purchase it this time around. Mm. The only problem with purchasing video games as a bopper was that you had to be over 18 or have like a corrupt GameStop employee you knew. Because if, if they weren't willing to sell you the mature games at 12, then you were just fucked. You had to walk in there with your parents. Isn't that crazy that that, that, that actually exists? That was a st stage in life where like <laughs> grown ass adults is working at fucking GameStop. They're like, ah, you can buy GTA today. <laughs> Looking at fucking 13 and 14 year olds is letting them run off with GTA and fucking Call of I Duty. I fucking hate my classmates. I just need to release it. Can I buy GTA? Jeez. Yo, if someone tell hey, you go that. ahead, little man. No. You get that automatic. <laughs> I, ain't gonna lie. There, I remember there was a time we was growing up, me and Omar was growing up. My mom was real strict on us not having like any guns in the house. And that went as far as to also say like no video games with guns either. So there was a stretch in our life where we only played like Super Mario. Super Mario. Uh, he had Need for Speed. Uh, oh, man. Need for Speed, 2K, shit like that, Zelda. right? That guy had a Zelda. bow and arrow. He had, he had a bow and arrow, a sword, and a bomb. And magic. That nigga was dangerous. <laughs> he did have a bomb. He had a bomb. <laughs> nah, he's wild. Yeah, Zelda was crazy. <laughs> a bomb? So, I, but here's the thing. So, I remember one time... Um, what came, it was a game that came out. It wasn't Grand Theft Auto. My mom was very aware of Grand Theft Auto. I think it was Call of Duty. And he's like, Mama, can we, can we get this? Can we get this? Da, da, da. We're trying to egg my mom on. So she comes to GameStop with us. And then um, we're like, yeah, let's get that game. And then, no, it was, 
what's the what's the the knockoff of GTA? Were they like the big heads? LA and, Noir? No, 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 no. The other one. The one where they had like it's purple Saints Row. Oh. So Saints Row came out. That's what came out. And we're like, yo, Ma, can we get this? Can we get this? And so we get there, she comes all the way, she drives up there, and it was like, oh, it's like it's like a like an open world game. Like it's like we just have fun and stuff like that. All right, cool, cool, cool. So then, um, oh yeah, in the way that they even just, like depicted it, even on the gamer gaming formal was like you can like choose a different color of your car and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, this is just this is an open world game. So we get to the game, we get to the um, GameStop, and as we're purchasing it, this bitch ass nigga behind the counter was like, now ma'am, I just want to inform you of what this is. That's the worst. There, there's a lot of gun violence in here, and I was like, nigga, what the who the, who are you, nigga? Huh? Nobody even asked you. And then I was like, oh, gun violence? I was, he was like, yes, ma'am, it's like gun violence. It's, it's, a, it's a really fun game, but it's a lot of gun violence and a lot of things, like a lot of negative things going on, like violence and stabbings and stuff like that. Stabbings. And, and I was like, I was looking at him like, nigga, what's wrong with you, nigga? She didn't need Not to know all triple, that. Triple the price. I left that That'd day. I left that day with another Mario game. Damn. You had the whole collection. Damn. Had the whole. I mean, he'd be talking for no ass, reason. I mean, so serious. I dead ass had like almost every Mario party for like a good stretch of years. When I was saying Mario, I was thinking more like Mario Sunshine. No, that's Mario. Too, I'm just saying. But I'm just saying we oh, had okay. so many Marios that we used to just buy a bunch of Mario parties. But we had Mario Sunshine too. We I, it might have been a stretch. We had like every Mario, and the only time I would be able to play GTA or Mortal Kombat or any guns with like I mean any games with guns in it and stuff like that or violence. Was when I had to go to my cousin's house or like um like a close family friend we called him cousins and, and aunts and uncles too. Yeah, I'm glad my parents didn't care. We used to go to our friend's house and play like Goldeneye. We could play this W there was this game called Crush Hour on the GameCube, and it was WWE athletes that had vehicles that fit their persona, and you just had to kill the other people's vehicles by ramming into them and shooting projectiles and guns and bombs and it's the most violent shit you ever see. Like Rukishi, he had like a he had like a steamroller. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was a good game, no cap. Um, but yeah, they let us play whatever. We played a lot of fighters, Tekken, Street Fighter. Do you think games are getting worse or we're getting older? Nah, you just old. I, I said both of us. I, didn't, I, didn't nah, say. I don't think I, but games. I, but, but I said I both don't believe of us. games are getting worse though. I know, but I I'm just running out there. I just said I personally just said that. I just said we, not me. No, you are getting old. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. John, how's the how's the fried chicken, man? Busting, man. Is what? it busting for real? I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> this guy has a follow up question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, is it busting for real, John? Because as soon as you told him where you got it from, I was like, ah, nah, okay. If it was JJ's, I was like, oh, I might have to steal me a wing, but it's that, yeah, okay. It, it 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 hits the point. Yeah, I feel that you just. That's that. actually sad though. It is sad because then you realize like you're just eating just to eat. Yeah. I actually, me and Tierra went to a spot yesterday, worst spot in Atlanta. I'm sorry to the owner, but I'm about to just demolish your entire fucking restaurant. And he has like two or three of them in Atlanta. They're called like Bad Burger Bobs or something like that. I don't know what the fuck it's called. This is the first time I've ever had food, and I ne- it didn't taste like anything. Like I. I ate it and I was like, man, I if I was blindfolded and somebody just fed me that, I would not know what it is. It was the most tasteless food I've ever had in my life. And it, it's it's so hard to describe what that what I mean by that. But it was horrible, bro. I believe you. Dog shit, dog. So what did you do about it? I just ate half of it and left the other. You didn't complain? No, I'm not really a I'm not really a complainer. No cap. Yeah, me neither. I feel like complainers are just bored. What? Oh yeah, I said it, but you're not. You know, you're not a complainer. I never in my life complain about. I just, I just throw it away, and if I got it on DoorDash, I just demand a refund. But I'm not like. Yeah, we gotta stop saying it out loud because DoorDash will be like, "Oh, that's what y'all do." Okay. Uh, absolutely. What the hell? <laughs> it is, if it's awful food, I don't get my money back. Sometimes I ask my money so back. I'll get it back in the store. Yep. Yep. True. Except, when you go to the store, you gotta start yelling at people and talking to managers. On DoorDash, they just trust you. <laughs> they just give you your money back. <laughs> Which is crazy. They, they just say, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you, you, customer's always right. Here's your whole, here's your whole refund. <laughs> All the money you spent, <laughs> here's it back. You want it in credits or cash? <laughs> cash? All right, it'll be in your bank account in three to five business days. <laughs> Them niggas don't care. Amazon and DoorDash. Here, oh, here it is. 
Bad Daddy's Burger Bar. Bad Daddy's. Bad Daddy's Burger Bar. And don't go to that place in Atlanta. It's by far the worst burger spot I've ever gone to in my life. How do you even mess up burgers to this day? I I, I, don't, I don't know. The, there's a, the, the burger I had was like, it was like, it was mad greasy, like had two patties and cheese and then the bacon on there. She like warm. She's like, oh, on the bacon on there, we get a little extra here at um, Bad Daddy's. So uh, just so you know, like the bacon, you can have a choice. We normally give it to you deep fried bacon or you can have regular bacon. I was like, ah, why not? I'll just try the deep fried bacon. I've never had this in day in my life. Get the burger and I'm just eating. I'm like, this is like, I don't taste anything at all, which is crazy. Like, cause you just gave me deep fried bacon and I don't taste it. So I take the bacon off itself and I eat it. And I'm like, Do you have this, COVID? Is, this is nothing but bread. How about to say that? Do you have COVID? How? You, you don't taste deep nothing. fried bacon? No, I just, we just did a video where I taste all the food. And you tasted it? Yeah. Good. No, that's how bad it was. It's just that bad. Mm. When was this? No cap. I actually thought about this. Like, man, what have COVID? Can you smell shit right now? Yeah, I can smell shit. When was this? We were just downstairs smelling shit. What's your eyesight looking like? Okay. Horrible. Do you smell this food? Yes. Wait, taste a piece. What's, what's it smell like? Wait, 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 wait. It smelled like mid chicken. That's why I knew it was mid. You want to taste a piece? No, I'm good. I know. What you taste? Mid. I can smell that it's mid. And it's mid. I know you look disappointed looking down at that shit too. <laughs> can you take a deep breath for me? Like through my nose or my mouth? Hi, yeah, one. mouth. <laughs> hey, John. John. You can't say it like that. That John. sounded sexual. Yeah, John, you gotta chill oh, yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. John, you gotta chill out, Doug. Go ahead, take that breath. I don't like how you said that either. Actually. Oh my fault. I don't, I don't Breathe like whenever you're ready. Yeah, not what you Spread said. Lips. Nah, that's the craziest one. That's you did it. One. You did it, John. Congratulations. There's been a lot of crazy stuff done today. A lot of people don't know that happened behind the scenes. Why behind the scenes? Why did you say that? Like we just got done fucking each other. <laughs> John, why did you say that? I know you're not talking about the fucking little small video we just did. Because you talking about anything else, you gotta be talking about something else. Because the shit. Why did you say that? You make it, guys. What's up with y'all, bro? All I want to say with videos, I don't want to ruin your video. Yeah, I have a, yeah, I have I a video for my. I don't want to expose us. The, the oh, banger what? we just made. Oh, okay, the banger. Okay, cool. But what are you saying behind the scenes of what? Hmm? What else behind the scenes happened today with you? All that jaw dropping action. Okay, all right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is talking. He's so fucking bored. <laughs> this nigga's just talking. Dog. He's so bored, bro. So you're just talking, dog. Oh, yo, Rihanna's uh, pregnant. Huh? Rihanna's pregnant. I thought he said Brianna. Brianna, who? Who's the one you've been trying to make a video. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder if I if I stream her on Twitch because she plays basketball. Is that not sports? It is, I guess. Yeah, I can react Wait, to some. Rihanna's pregnant with. ASAP Rocky baby, yeah, Rihanna's yeah. pregnant with ASAP Rocky baby. Yo, you know what that Twitter means? Twitter was furious. Yeah, which is crazy. Right? Twitter was wow. trying to lock up ASAP Rocky because if he leave, he get half, right? Oh no, they're not married. Not married, no. Oh. But he will get child, child support. support. Alimony. Child, no, no, child, child support. support. Yo, if he puts a Rihanna on child support, City Boy, he are, trapped uh, her. Congratulations, that was crazy. Congratulations, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nah, no, no cap. Really like I'm actually other. highly upset. Why? Why? I'm just upset about it. Why? Why? Because it's like I'm actually proud of him. Because that means that no cap. That means that ASAP Rocky has more game than fuck. He had. Then they got more riz than fucking Drake. You're on he Drake's got more, dick. You're on he, Drake's dick right now. On Drake's dick you're or, on Drake's or Rocky's dick. dick? No, you're on Drake's dick right now. I'm, 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 I'm on Rocky's you dick. Got, you're, proud proud of, mean you're proud of ASAP Rocky because you believe he has more riz than Drake. Money don't mean I think nothing. He has more riz than everybody, ASAP, bro. That's that's that, 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 you gotta be a jiggy. You, you see, brown skin braids. Well, is 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 brown is Drake not a perfect man? Wait, hold on. Pause. Is Drake not the perfect dude? What does it have to do with Drake though? Why would you be proud of ASAP Rocky for because of Drake? Because if anybody could have got her pregnant, I'm assuming Drake would have been out there. Because it's not. That's why I got. That's my other point. Is Drake Dang. not the perfect man? No, he's not. Oh, he's not? Mm. What, what, what would Serge you Serge is obviously the perfect man. I get that, but is he not a top 10? Is Drake not a 10 to perfect man caliber? Wow. You, you, you had to ask women, um, but I would what? think- No, we don't. We, we've had a whole section on no, no, where no, we're no, talking no, about no, perfect no. men no, all the time. No, no, no. But I, I could reasonably A$AP understand women wrong. believing Serge Ibaka is attractive. A$AP you feel me? Was hitting I don't know if they wrong. feel the same way about Drake like that. Does that make oh sense? You don't think Drake is a, a handsome man? It's not what I ASAP think. When, when, I'm saying, I'm when I'm saying Sergi Ibaka's... But I, he was hitting that thing raw. He was, actually. Just beating it raw. 
She not even working he was on an album no more. Exactly. He was able to talk Rihanna out of stop working on, on albums and start working she on this was, baby. She was never working on that. She, she was she paused on beating it raw. Uh-huh. And now she started to make it more lingerie to wear for him to take it off and beat her raw. More Fenty. So he could is take that, it is off. That, did she become a billionaire this year and then later on? Damn, what a great year for Rihanna. No, she oh had a great God. year. She great, a what baby. an amazing year. Got a what baby and a billionaire. Before? He was thinking about ASAP Rocky's raw. raw dick. I didn't say the raw. I'm thinking about Rihanna. You did say raw, you did. John. You I said say raw. Dick. But it's raw, nigga. What yeah, else is raw? You thinking about the dick. What else is raw? Huh? What else is raw? Her shit's raw. It's always raw, nigga. You put so you <laughs> fuck women with, women with women condoms. Exactly. You talk about the dick. I'm talking about the pussy. See, that's what the we're pussy's different. always raw. You don't have to identify pussy as raw. I know that. So, but you're thinking about the no, dick. No, 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 I'm man. not dumb. Man, about the you dick. kept talking about A-Side Rocky's dick, about nigga. The dick. You dead ass was hung up on this nigga penis. That's a crazy I, vocabulary. I didn't hung the on dick his at all. Penis. You keep thinking about yeah, that, Yeah, what was bro? he talking about before he was is, fantasizing is Drake, about Is Drake dick? not a perfect man? So here's the thing. With Serge Ibaka, I could reasonably believe that most women would find him attractive. I don't know. Yeah, What's the, what's the difference? I'm saying like why like what is? I think he's handsomer than Drake. I think both of them are just handsome men. I agree, but I think Sergi's more handsomer. What? We're talking about perfect, bro. Perfect. Low. What? Really? Don't look at me like what? Not the niggas worried about handsome men. Oh, let's, let's be clear. Let's say, not You're the nigga about, that was worried about. You see something like Real penis now, nigga. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Drake, I don't think Drake is the perfect man. I think he's like very close, but Sergi Bach is like the perfect man, though. So that means that Rocky's not a perfect man. No, Rocky's not the perfect man. Women love Rocky, though, bro. Maybe he is Brown the perfect man. That's what I'm saying. But isn't he short, though? Not just, I don't give a fuck, but oh, women don't even care. Let me see. Now, because you had to have everything now. Now he Oh, has how style. tall is Drake? I think he's like 5'10". Okay, okay. No, okay, so people, women love ASAP Rocky style. I've heard that a lot. They mm-hmm. think he looks good, too. They look think he looks handsome. Oh, no, Drake is six foot. Okay, I'm six foot two then. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You gotta be that jiggy. I can't, that I jiggy can't, dude. I can't, I can't, I can't tell if Drake is really six foot. He just hangs around too many ball players. It's one of the two, bro. Because I, ain't, I've never seen a photo where I was like, yeah, six foot. Yeah, I've never seen that photo day in my life. Yeah. Yo, Drake is high. Is fucking paying Google to amp up his fucking. Height. You don't have to pay Google. Look at Kai's height on Google. It's a lie. Why would you make me do that? Yeah, because Kai Why always was... references it on his streams. Kai just got Google to lie about his age. Oh, uh, Rocky's five ten. Yeah, so he can't be perfect. How how did he have? How did he have Google to lie about his height? I think you just have to change like whichever website Google's referencing. It might be Wikipedia, no cap. But anyway, does that mean does that mean ASAP is not the perfect man? Because he's five ten, so that's the average woman would think that's like ooh, I could. I told Rihanna, five eight. They said Kai is five nine. Yeah, so that's a lie. <laughs> five's like he's like five six. <laughs> five nine. Yo, Kai, you can't go around telling niggas you five nine. We know you're not, bro. Like, you can't. You Kai at five nine would be so weird. It would be weird as fuck. Kai being like Kai at average five, height would be odd. Kai, I'm not gonna say that because that's my man's. But Kai, no, Kai at average height would be over for a lot of niggas, dog. You that on nigga, his, that you're nigga, on his dick right now. I'll be on his dick. That's my man's, dog. Pause. Yo, if Kai was average Third height. Time. Third time, if Kai, if dead ass, no, that, 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 if Kai was perfect height, I mean average height. So you how, how far move would he be per, from the perfect man? He's not close. Kai, Kai, he's not the perfect man, bro. I, I just said how I didn't say you, you was. I said him? how far removed. You fuck him. I think <laughs> you, you know five this? nine. You fuck him. <laughs> no five five ten five ten five ten. <laughs> oh my bad. Five no, ten five ten. Five ten. You in there? Five no, ten. No, he's in you. <laughs> you. Fucking you, huh? I get you right. Five don't ten, five, 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 ten, five, eleven. I, I don't, I don't think that would make him perfect. I didn't say it did. I said how far removed. I don't know, bro. I don't know how to rate Kai. Did you just rate other niggas? Sergi, Sergi Bach is objectively the perfect man. Mm. I can't gauge people like that's not up there, like like in the middle. Like we're all in the middle, bro. Sergi Bach is at the top. No, nah, Kai. Is. If Kai was five ten, five eleven, he would not be in the middle no more. I don't think when he's in the I middle say, now. When I say in the middle, I don't mean like a five, dog. I just mean he's not the top or the bottom. He's in between. Oh, that's what you're saying now. Anyway, besides the point, I, I don't think Drake is a perfect man. And I think he's really close, though. 
Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like a nine point eight. I guess. Yeah, yeah, but ASAP, what, what me ASAP and, like, is a ten now. I mean, well, thing about ASAP, he has to be a ten. Most right? brown skin ten. niggas with braids and nice teeth come with standard sixty percent res already pre-installed. Then the rest is learned through experience. You think yeah, he, he has to have like incredible riz. He does. Yeah. I can I can tell. To get Rihanna How pregnant. How could you tell? He got Rihanna pregnant. But like outside of that. Oh, I couldn't tell before, but <laughs> no, no, he, that shit confirmed it for me. Well, no, 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 no. Let me say they I mean he dresses really well too, so I'm pretty there's other things that Bro, he does. A, a lot of women in the last like three years have talked to me about ASAP Rocky style. A woman coming to you to talk to you about ASAP Rocky. They don't come to me to talk to me about that. No, I'm just saying, but like, even if that's casual. Now that nigga Brent Fias. If another What's girl say something about Brent. What's his name? Brent Fias. Yeah. Fias? Fias. 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 Brent Fias. I've only ever heard women talk about how much they like his music. Yeah, only music. Not not, not how no, good he looks. I don't know. Maybe. This I'm not in the mix like I know, you, though. But they just love that nigga. They love him? They love that nigga. Mm. But I, get, I think it's because... Girls find niggas that can sing a little more attractive. Even if you are not a little, little bit. Not a little bit. If you can sing. You think a lot more? Yeah, if you yeah. can like legit sing, sing, oh yeah. Sing, no. That's yeah. a fucking cheat code. No cap. That's cheat code. That's a cheat code. That's okay. a fucking like, cheat code. Like you can be ugly and you'll still pull. Yep. So if you're fairly attractive and you can sing, over with. You if I can done. sing, man, I'm, YouTube, fuck YouTube. But how about rapping? Does rapping not have that same appeal? Nah, nah not really. it has that appeal to only a certain gangster type. appeal. For yeah, on, only type, only certain type of gangster. women. Yeah, only certain yeah, type like of women. Gangster rap, and and I mean, it has to be, like it, and it has to be gangster rap. Yeah. It cannot be like, like backpack rap. It like, can't be pop rap. It has yeah. to be gangster rap, and you can get that appeal. But singing, yeah. it don't matter what genre you sing. Nah, you, you can sing, sing soul, R and B, jazz, classic, like Chris Brown. He got out so much stuff because he could sing. Like, you forget about stuff. That maybe, is true. Maybe I need to he learn might... how to sing. Uh, mm -hmm. It's too late. Hold yeah. on. For everybody else, it works. For me, it doesn't work. I think that's how it works, actually. No, stop. I, I mean, think, I think if you did bro, sing, if I learn how to play the guitar, if you did and sing, sing, you appeal to the women that like Bruno Mars. So if they like okay. Bruno Mars, why are you putting this thing in a box already? Huh? But that's who you look like. I that's, you know, I think I think singing is like this bitch got me pandering. <laughs> and you remember you used to catch a grenade? I think I think singing is like <laughs> I think singing is like a thing where like you kind of already have to have it though. No, I disagree. You think you can, think you can learn to. how to be a good singer? Not a great, but just a good singer? Yeah. You can only you tweak can. your singing. You can only like Yeah. Like, I don't like think you can Why do you believe that? You already have. I don't but know why. Every, everything else in life you can learn it, but with singing, I, have, I legit don't know why, but I just believe that. <laughs> singing is a natural talent. I, I legitimately why yeah. do you believe that? I singers actually that. have to like they practice a lot. Yeah, they to practice make it better to make it better. But, but they, they already, already have natural singing. I get that, but I'm not saying I'm gonna be Rihanna. I'm just saying I, I'm gonna get good. Okay, sing right now. I'm gonna be horrible. Sing it. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna want to see how oh, yeah, bad wanna, you are. I want to see how bad how you are much now. you can improve. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see that. Let me see. Sing. Yeah, I, I can't sing nothing right now. Y'all put me on the spot. Just. It's uh, really bad. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, oh, no. little okay. star. Oh, can't help you. How I wonder, wonder yeah. where you are. Is that how the song goes? It's what you are. <laughs> oh, my bad. That's like. You know, I have an awful voice. You know, in the ninth grade, I convinced myself that I was a good singer because in my head, like everything just sounded good. One time I recorded myself. That's half of the population. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way you sing is like niggas on like, that. what's that show? Uh, the Moose. Uh, oh, The Moose? Uh, I think it's like a the uh, I like a cousin American of, uh, Idol. Nickelodeon. It has the moose on it. Man, what are you talking about? What are about, you man? talking about? It has the, the the little brown moose and the bird, the blue bird. It's like a cousin of Nickelodeon, but for kids. It had the moose. The network has a moose and a about? blue bird. No, nah, he's not talking about Blue's Clues. I don't know, bro. Not the show, but it's a network. Okay, who cares? It's, it's a called, network. Okay, what are you using? Teletoon? Teletoon. No, Cartoon Network. Not Cartoon Network. It's YTV. I think it's cousins with Nickelodeon. I think it's under the Nickelodeon family. Family. Oh, channel? Nick Jr. Not Nick Jr. It was another one. Just who the cares? Sprouts. Sprouts. That's who a grocery I, store. But all who right. Who you be? Who you be around, John? Huh? Who do you be no, around? Where's the kid? I know I'm not ninety, Lo. <laughs> I know you. Don't what know is that the point is. you're making? Uh huh? What's but no, I with? said the way you sing, you sing like niggas will sing with puppets. Around you going <laughs> side by side. You know you have puppets. That's how you sing. Oh, I shit. can't. I, I dead was like, I almost convinced myself like I should join like a talent show. 
And then you heard yourself back. Yeah, you know, you know when I realized it though, when I watched those like uh, Canadian Idol or those like shows like The yeah, Boys, yeah, American and Idol, you yeah. see those people crash and burn. I'm like, why did nobody tell them? And, I, and then it hit me like, nobody's ever told me neither. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, luckily I never I made that imagine, mistake. <laughs> imagine a little agent at his desk like, nobody's telling me either though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go record myself. Yo, podcast people, this portion of the podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. That's right, Manscaped. It is that mm. time of season again, man. Season right around the corner. Christmas right around the corner. Thanksgiving already here. Bro, I'm telling you right now, bro, you need to start shopping right now. And the best way to get the best gift for that special someone out there for you, Manscaped, dog. I'll tell you right now, y'all. It's a know. good gift, no cap. No Manscaped cap. will be a valid no gift, cap. and you're not breaking the bank. No cap, man. Four million people already use it. That means that's eight million balls, dog. <laughs> that's eight million balls. Eight that's already million. eight million balls is already getting cleaned by Manscaped. Nah, bro. Let me tell you why Manscaped is valid. <laughs> they got the light on the lawnmower. That's a lawnmower. Yeah, that's a, so, that's a trimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the lawnmower is how you like. I just remove my the, yeah. the hair in that area. But you're in the shower. The lighting's not always that great. It got the light on it, so you always know. Oh, not wow. only is it what, and I call it the triple B, because not only does it get your balls, it gets your back. And your butt too, dog. <laughs> My butt. It gets your butt too, dog. That's what you really need to like. All no them, cap. All those uncomfortable, agitative butt hairs. Exactly. <laughs> and, it, and it's and it's and on top of that, not only does it got the light, but it's also waterproof, so you can dead ass use it in the shower. And yep. And the battery lasts for a very long time. For a, I, I haven't charged mine since I got it. Yeah, dead ass. I, I have not charged mine since I got it, and I use it pretty often, and I still have not charged it yet. So no I can cap. Use it in the tub. Yes. yes. Yeah, you can. In the shower. Correct. Yeah. I actually use mine in the shower. Yeah, me too. That's the most At convenient At the beach? One. Yep. That'd be a crazy place, but I guess. At yeah. a restaurant. <laughs> Second thing, though, too. We got the, we got the, bro, we got the weed whacker, bro. Mm. Nice weed whacker trimmer getting like nice little small spaces in your nose and your ear. Got to make sure that's clean. Then on top of that, we got the crop preserver and the crop reviver. Make sure everything is hygienic out there. Smooth, silky smooth, and smelling good. And on top of that, we got the no chafe boxes, bro. I promise you all, it is the best gift available for every man out there. And all of that is part of the performance package 4.0. I promise you it'll be a great, great buy for all the dads, the sons, the brothers out there this holiday season. But if that don't suit you well, Manscaped got even more great things out there. First, we have the Manscaped Signature Cologne. They got the Sheer 2.0 Luxury with a four-piece nail kit. They got the Crop Mop, which are ball wipes that can get your stanky ball smelling yeah, yeah, yeah. good. I keep those in my bag when I travel. Crazy, the dog. Clutch. Crazy, dog. And on top of that, as we all know, again, just you can get the Crop Reviver on its own. All of those, if you don't want to get a huge gift, those are perfect stocking stuffers. 100%. Perfect stocking stuffers. Hey, man, bless somebody in your family. Make sure you're taking good care of your health, ladies and gentlemen, because no one's going to take good care of it for you. No cap. Manscaped, I'm glad we use them. We use it all the time. They're, they've they been a fantastic sponsor on this podcast for a while now. Go ahead, so, tell them where to find again, it. If any, of, if any of that sounds interesting at all, make sure you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash peer. Mm. That is, again, manscaped.com slash peer to get 20% off and free shipping. Be the ballsiest gift giver this year Facts. with Manscaped. <laughs> I used to like, yeah, nah. I'm hey, but those bad. niggas, no, that ass, the, for the people who allow their loved ones to go on American Idol, L mans. <laughs> yeah, don't care. L family member. You know how long of a like process that is? Like you gotta put in the getting there, you gotta, you gotta stand in, in a long, long yeah. line. You have to then like like sing in front of three people first before you get to the I other three to four. On purpose. Right oh, no, they, they clearly do. But what I'm saying is, like, there's people who legitimately believe that they're making it to the next step because, like, I have a chance. Not knowing that they're making it to the next spot to get made fun of. I mean, like, it just sucks. That's like, crazy. If you told me, like, I knew you couldn't sing, but you was really passionate, and you was like, I was special and I was different, and you was like, I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you go out what there and do G that. What if Jadion made a video where he got on American, t American Got Talent? Or if they said American Idol? What if he was so committed, like, I'm going to get on American Idol? Problem is, is he wouldn't be able to record it himself. Um, and even if they air it... Oh, he, don't he doesn't know if they're going to know yeah, yeah. if he's going to make it or not. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. Like, mm -hmm. you want to go American Idol, I know you can't sing. You don't take my word for it. Take America's word for it. You're trash. Now come back home. 
<laughs> and find a job. I ain't gonna lie. Some of them stories they usually tell, like, I'm just man. You know, I'm. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do no more in life. Like this is just this is me. <laughs> I was I was meant to do this. I quit my job. I sold my house to get enough gas money to get here. <laughs> and right now, like, I have you know my next car you note know, is due in like a couple of weeks and like. But I know I'm going to make it. Like, there's no need for me to even think back about it. You can't forget about, about the spouse or the, or the best friend oh, yeah, that yeah, actually gave yeah, up everything, too. Yeah, they're yeah, like... Yeah, like... And then he didn't she, have enough for a recording studio, so I sold my house, too. So we got a lot riding on this right now, yeah. man. So we both homeless. And my mom and my dad, they just... They never believe me. Like, they keep... They tell me, like, you're not good. And I'm like, you, you're just hating on me. And they're like, no, son, you're really not good. And I'm like, that's it right there. And, and I just use that to fuel me. And my dad... My right dad now. De- just dead to me. Your dad died? No, I just kept singing the house. He told me to stop, so I moved out. So I just, I didn't yeah. believe in me. So and then they just be, they, in, they be in the back, like they the bureau be like singing, like mm, uh 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 uh. And that friend be like this. Go there, yeah. do, that, do that again. Do that again. So I'm gonna like that. Uh, 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 and then they go in there. And this nigga and Simon vomit. Cal have the fucking day of his like that fuck greatest day of his life, nigga. Just start tearing the ass all open. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Yeah, yeah. No, you want to roll today, low? Those are the yeah. <laughs> so you know, so you know. Those are the worst ones, though. Because like I, I can't. Even, am I supposed to feel bad? Like I want you to make it, bro. Like this is so important to me that you make it to the next round. But you fucking suck. Yeah, what you are we gonna suck. do about that, man? You're bad, bro. You, you, you're horrible. Matter of fact, that was the first time when I realized I, I can't handle cringe like that well. Yeah. That's when I was like, ooh, I got to turn this shit down. <laughs> you really believe that you can sing. And you waited all day to get to this point just for them to tell you no, nigga. That you're awful. That you're awful, dog. But that's, that's good, though. That's like a lesson in self-awareness. Like, now you know more about yourself. Yeah, but I don't think you had to go through those lengths. Uh-oh. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. But. Yeah, I hope you don't. You having to like do public humiliation just so you know like singing just ain't for you, dog. It's crazy. Like that's <laughs> that's crazy. I used to be in choir, actually, now that I think about it. I was in my like third grade choir for like half the year and then I left. I think I just lost interest. Mm. That's good because you still were trying things growing up. Yeah. Bro, when we was in sixth grade, uh it was Black History Month mm-hmm. and there was a Black History Month mm-hmm. assembly. Do you guys have assemblies in this country? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have assemblies like every month for just weird stuff. Not every yeah. month, though, but yeah. We have but yeah, so we got together. And this is one of them assemblies where it's not just students in the crowd, but it's a whole bunch of parents, and it's after school. Did you have these kind of no, assemblies? No, we didn't have those type of assemblies. So, so it, was, it was more of like a performance. <laughs> okay. And the song they made us sing, bro, was... Y'all probably familiar with but it's like R E S P E C T. I don't know what it means to me. Bro. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. And we had to sing that because it was Black History Month. Find out what it means to me. R E S P E C T. I remember when I finished, and my mom was like trying to be fake excited for me. I was like, "You don't have to pretend to care, mom." I also, I always <laughs> when when people in choirs and their children like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you're singing." Like, I, I always wonder, like, what if every child just stops singing? Like, would you be able to tell like which child stopped singing for that one second? You wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't be able we to all, tell. We all just blend in. Like, yeah, yeah, bad just, or good. Yeah, it's just all one sonic of just R E S P. Like, it's just it's just one. <laughs> you it's just no one wave. Required. You just got there. Yeah, it was just one yeah. wave. You could be mouthing it. You can be like, but you. So, did you? What did y'all do in music class? Y'all played instruments. Uh kind of, sorta. Yeah. So when we went to music class for grade six, seven, Wait, eight, eight. John, did you have music class? I wasn't in that shit. But some for us it was mandatory. In elementary school, it was, it was mandatory for us. What'd you play? Um, xylophone, and then we sung. That's not a real instrument, but okay. Like, um, so what? A so, xylophone. <laughs> pick on Omar though. You know Omar used to play. What he used to play? He's a. He, what Don't say it? the triangle. No, 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 no. He actually played like an actual um, a violin. Not a vibe. No, 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 no. The trombone, um, the uh, big tuba. bass thing. Trombone, trumpet. I just told you the bass. Oh, uh, uh, a violin. <laughs> the bass. This bass is a, guitar. No, the bass. The bass, like the big. That big guitar, thing? the long one. A cello. I don't know what it's it, called. A bass. It's called a bass, nigga. It's a type of guitar. <laughs> oh, it's not a guitar. I just said. A, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, it's a bass. It's like a big guitar, right? <laughs> it's not a. I guess what we look at. I guess like you put it on the ground. Cello, and you the lean shit on your where like you put it right here, bro, and you strum it like this. That's a cello. No, but you also hold it at the top yeah, as well. Yeah, that's a cello, dog. I thought it's called a bass. 
Is it like a guitar or like a harp? It's not a guitar, nigga. Is it a harp? It's not a guitar. It's not saying guitar, nigga. It's just a fucking bass. God damn. Was it electric? No, it wasn't electric. So it wasn't an electric guitar. <laughs> no, yo, yo, you just it was like, no guitar at all. You talk about this shit, bro. You talk about this right here? Yeah. That's well, a cello. But it says bass right here. Maybe it's a bass cello. <laughs> I don't know. Was so, it an electric bass? Um, oh, this is Omar. This, this. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, John. It's not electric. So this is the setup we had. We had eight people. So our student, our class was like 30 deep. Like eight people on the clarinet. We had eight people on no, the flute. No, I'm sorry. It was a double bass. Oh, like, I don't know that's what, that is. what it is. Oh, fire. And it was so big, Omar had to stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now imagine. <laughs> Little ass Omar. Yeah, imagine Omar. That thing. <laughs> imagine Omar fucking, fucking like doing a dance. But you played a big xylophone? Ass. It wasn't something. It was just something that we just did. There was like an actual class. Yeah. Omar actually took, like, oh Omar, no no. Let, let's be clear what I'm saying. My mom hired an actual like a tutor, a tutor for him for this. Damn. And he he still- used to go to events. He used to like dress up. He played in front of auditoriums. This is a legit thing. There was oh, it was a stretch in our there was a stretch in our lives where a nigga just had. Did he love that? No. Well, I don't. I don't know. You gotta ask him. There was a stretch in our lives where niggas had a base in the middle of the fucking um. Living room. That's wild. In a zipper. Like, he had the whole... Everything. Yeah. So, so we had... You're again, a bitch. We had... I'm just sorry I had to say that. Why did... Who'd you say that to? Omar. Oh, true. You're For a bitch. quitting the bass. The double bass. Yeah, bro. You're a quitter. Anyway, we had eight clarinets. We had eight flutes. Mm-hmm. Did anyone play the flute in your class? Oh, we did it. We had it, too. But everybody was playing the recorder. That's what we played. Oh, no. That was that was before fifth grade we played the recorder. But everybody, but everybody gave everybody a recorder and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, you ever yeah. had to play that? Yeah, 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 I thought you said that went though. Yeah, you said you didn't mm-hmm. do nothing, John. You're a liar. So, caught you in a lie. but hold on, we had three. No, you had to play that, but I caught you in a lie though. How? I told, I said this is the class you had to go to. He was like, "No, nah, I don't do that shit, dog." That's exactly what you said. It's elementary school. I said that, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You said too much gay stuff tonight, bro. I stopped turning you out. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Did you have any trumpets or like brass? Yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, that shit was cool. But the problem is, depending on the instrument you played, people could immediately tell if you fucked up. Oh, yeah, for sure, for the sure. The trumpets, tr- trombones, and tuba player, if you messed up, we all knew about it. Yeah. Luckily, like, on the, I was on the drums and the bells. If I messed up, like, I could recover. Like, people don't really know because most of the time you're not drumming to the tune of anything. Yeah. Like, if when you listen to the bass or the drums on any song, it's not what you would expect it to be, if that makes sense. I guess. Like, let's say... Um, Let's say, uh, what's, like what's the song? What's the song, John? A Kanye West song? Yeah, name is Kanye West song. Power? Power? Okay. N- no one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking. I just count amazing? the hours. That's mm. amazing. Mm. Mm. So mm. amazing. Mm. Who? Mm. So amazing. But That's you would think. It's not a drum. The who is not a drum. I get it. All I'm trying to say <laughs> is the drums are more supplementary. They don't. Play along with the song as much as they just supplement the song. So for a better way to make sense, uh, now that I'm learning the keyboard, I'm quickly realizing that there's almost no song where the piano is playing the actual melody. The piano really is just supplementary and provides a melody, but it's not the melody that is the vocals. So that being said, if I mess up on the drums, no one will be able to tell and I could easily recover. People that played the clarinet and the flute were blessed because there's so many people that even if you messed up, like your friend got your back. Uh, but there were some people that just pretended to play and just blow into their instrument. Of course. And the teacher would catch and be like, hey, 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 Anthony, you're not playing your instrument? And, and then Anthony got embarrassed in front of the class for like two minutes. Yeah, it was one of them. But anyway, I kind of miss it, low key. I used to know how to like read music. Like I could do it like in Omar real just, time. Yeah, Omar used to not read yeah now Omar, I don't know Omar how to do any of that. used to do that. Like for real, for real. Yeah, I'm bad now. That sucks. Also, Omar did have a guitar. He's a tryhard, bro. Omar, yeah, John, you're right. Omar used to have a guitar. Like so what a did you do guitar. when he was playing instruments? I was just chilling. So you just watched him? I, you, I, you think I just was in his room watching him you play? You, you said you was chilling. What I was chilling in my room, nigga, not oh, okay. watching him play the fucking thing, did, bro. Did he play it good at least? Did you like, dang, my brother really in there going crazy? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would say, <laughs> that would be crazy. Like, no, that nigga really is in the killing the guitar. I can't imagine. The, 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 guitar, the guitar, not so much because he didn't get that deep into it, but the bass, he was definitely much better at the bass. Guitar I was just is, being in the Guitar room. is easier to learn, though. He spent more time on the bass, though. Oh, where? Right. Yeah. I was just in the room chilling, though. That us. Just playing video games. No cap. Yeah, and that's why you're not you successful. You had the volume low enough to hear him play, or you turned the volume up? 
He wouldn't be playing in the house. My mom would beat the shit out of him. He'd be playing. You gotta play house. outside. He he. She bought a tutor for him. Yeah, but where did the tutor tutor him? Oh no, we used to drop him off at the place. Oh. This is like no. Let's oh let's let's so be at home. Let's be you clear. This is very legit. Like an uh, actual facility <laughs> for him to go play this shit. At. Yeah. So he didn't never played at home. I mean, if he did, it wasn't frequently enough for me to remember. Did you ever question why your mom wasn't trying to make you learn an instrument? I know. I didn't. I didn't really care. She didn't see the potential in you. <laughs> I, I guess not. I guess not. Oh, you the oldest, right? Yeah, I'm the oldest. She already gave up on you. Omar was a new, the new, the new. Chance. No, I think I think she was just willing to give Om, let Omar just do a lot of things. I think there was a a smaller window of time for me. Why? I I now we're about to get really deep. We're about to get really deep now. She gave up. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. I'll, if we're gonna get deep on this, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get deep on this. You get deep. You want me to get deep? What happened? Did one of y'all start failing? We got time. No, because my my father passed. What does that have to do with oh my was, opportunities? Because he was younger than me. For me, it felt like it was like a finite, almost a finite amount of time left for me to like mature into the man I needed to be. Because it's now no longer a father figure. So it really wasn't that much. It really wasn't that many more trial and error stages in my life. When Omar was doing the cello and stuff like that. He was, uh, well, not the cello, the bass. He was around the same age I was when my father passed away. So by that time, I was already like 14, 15 years old. And most I was doing was football and basketball. But that was really it. Like, it was like very finite. Like, this is you what you basketball on the team? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I, know, I wasn't playing lied. basketball myself. He's never played basketball on the team. I, I have pictures of it and everything. Show me the pictures. You were playing? I'll, I'll tell him the same pictures. Huh? Were you on the team or were you playing? Wait, what? Were you on the team and playing or were you just on the team? Like, were you the team I was manager? Playing. I was playing. I had a, a game winner and everything. What position did you play? Power forward. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. My, my fault. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Back to the beginning. Back. Oh, let, let's be clear. Let's be clear. I'm not talking about my, my high school team, no. Okay. Are we talking about elementary? But why does... Okay, no, so no. That was in high school when I did it, though, but it wasn't my high school team. How old were you? When well, I was playing basketball? Playing upward? Yes. Yeah, upward. Yeah. Oh, where everybody's a winner? Yeah. Oh, Man, you just dim- diminished. No, I was. I thought he said <laughs> no, high school. No, no, no. no so I was no, like, I wasn't, I wasn't. No, I'm not acting like I was in a what you call it. I did play for my high school football team, and I did play for. Okay, I can see that. I can see. I that. played for um, a rec football you team. You play rugby? <laughs> Nigga, stop, bro. I mean, that us. We no. I oh, didn't, yeah, I didn't play. play rugby down here. No, I'm just because when because I was big too in high school, and they didn't even ask me to try out. They just said you're going to be on the rugby team, and I was like, nope, I don't want to get injured. No, we just play football. Oh, we're. Right. That's like so yeah, year. high school and um, a rec team, and the rec team was amazing. We only lost like once or twice the entire season. What is a rec team? Recreation. Recreational team. Just like a community YMCA? kids. Like a community kid. Community like, kids. Oh, like okay. People in the community get together and just play football. But who'd you play against? Other um, cities. Oh, so it's like a real thing. We used to like travel and stuff like that. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't get how old that. I don't get how your father passing away would mean that you have a shorter time frame to. Mature into a man because you guys would both have ideally a short time frame because you know he would have a short tour. I mean, I'll have a shorter one if I'm older than him. If she's trying to prepare both of us, and on top of that, once I was in, um, once I was in ninth grade, ninth, no, eighth, eighth, ninth, tenth, twelfth, yeah, when I was in high school, eighth grade on up, I was in, um, 100 black men as well. What is that? Oh, you talk about yeah. the camp, yeah, the, like the, um, the camping, like they would get a bunch of kids together they were trying like either missing absent father figures so yeah and omar also omar wasn't part he didn't participate in that omar didn't participate in that in a hundred men <laughs> you didn't want no parts of that what you say what's crazy you know oh, so cra- black men you know so crazy i don't know why but i what? think that goes back to what i was saying before about <laughs> No, you were Omar, the, you Omar was a part of Omar, Omar, do? Omar was a part of um, Big Brother, Big Sister. That's what he was part what of. What is that? Oh, Big Brother, Big Sister. So he was with the girls. No, no, no. Big Brother, Big. You know, you, you go. You have almost like a mentee type of mentee mentor type of vibe where you have so a, you got um, a new Big Brother. He, but he was like he was like twenty. <laughs> what? I'm trying to just understand. I don't know what's going on. He, what he, is he that? was he was um. It's like a mentee mentor type. But of it system. could be any gender. No, well, yeah, the boys no, got another would get brother, brother, yeah, or brothers. But he would be—he was like in his twenties, married with like oh, a, he, a grown man. He's a grown man, yeah. Oh, that's what I say. It's more like so a mix. You could, you could like decide to be part of this program right now. Yeah, I could actually. Yeah, okay, we all could. Yeah, this portion of the podcast is brought to you by Gen Lock. 
The mind is a powerful weapon, but who's really in control? Mm. In the groundbreaking HBO Max series Genlock, the fate of an increasingly hostile world rests on five soldiers who upload their minds to giant mecha war machines. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I like that futuristic stuff. Sci-fi yeah. is my favorite genre, fellas. Yeah, cool. Executive produced by and starring Michael B. Jordan, season two Michael of this B. action... Yeah, I know you know Michael B. Jordan, John. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, he's in that? Yeah. yeah. I'm about to check that out. Season two of this action-packed animated series is now streaming on HBO Max. 50 years into the future, a global extinction event ravages Earth. War rages between the Union and the polity, who hold very different ideas on how to save humanity. As territories fall, the Union's charismatic leader preaches about a higher ex existence for all of mankind. The Genlock team is the polity's greatest weapon, utilizing advanced technology they upload their minds to weaponized robotic suits to combat the Union forces. This team of fighters will soon learn that digitizing their minds can leave them more shell-shocked than the battlefield. As their darkest thoughts become reality, whose war are they fighting and at what cost? The heart-pounding new season of Genlock features a star-studded voice cast, including Michael B. Jordan, Dakota Fanning, Maisie Williams, Asia Kate Dillon, and David Tennant. Season two of Genlock is now streaming on HBO Max. Humanity will prevail. Literally my favorite genre sci-fi. Like mm. my favorite by far. Because the reason I love sci-fi, Marcel, is because when you're watching shows based in reality, you're bound by the rules of reality. When of you're course. watching sci-fi shows, anything goes. So um, there's just... What makes shows interesting to me is the big question mark, like the unknown, the mysteries, yeah. and uncovering the mysteries. And in sci-fi shows, the mystery can be anything, and they can make the rules up. For sure. You know for what I'm sure. saying? I know for you sure. feel me on that one. Hey, 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 yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to catch the action, season two of Gen Lock is now streaming on HBO Max. Humans will prevail. And then what is it, like weekly calls or whatever? You just stay in touch with, with um, someone younger. You just kind of mentor them. I always mentor. felt like formal mentorships were like forced. I don't know why. Did it was it helpful? Do you think it was helpful? I don't know. You gotta ask him. I don't know. I really wasn't involved enough to know. Yeah. I was doing my own shit, so true. I was trying to I was trying to be a rapper. <laughs> you were. I was trying to be a rapper, dog. Oh, no one laughing at you, my bad. Why does everybody default to rapper? I wonder what that is. What else are you gonna do? Well, there's damn, like so many other things to, to do. God damn. <laughs> so many yeah, why you make it seem you like... You could be a nurse. Yeah, you dead ass make it seem like you was the only... Oh, basketball didn't work out for you. So fucking rap, nigga. God <laughs> damn. put a ball in the basket. Can't put a ball in the end zone. You might well put yeah, some bars on some paper. Yeah. No, I just... I don't know. I was... I wanted to be... What inspired me to be a rapper was that whole uh, underground st stage and like hip hop where like all the stuff that we were listening to was like on Dat Piff and LimeWire and shit like that. You can start hearing like Mixtapes from fucking J. Cole and Drake and Wale and Big Sean and them. I was like, oh, these niggas is nice. Huh? Give me something that you had like you, that. Way. Yeah, do you have anything like that you wrote back then? Yeah, memorize? Me Only thing I memorize is that same thing that um on the... Uh, okay, I need an acapella right now. I can't remember it like What's that. You said you remembered it. You if, you remember if, you, if you said like one or two lines of it, I'll, it'll come I mean, back I to me. I can't because you didn't say it. Just say one or two lines and I'll repeat it so you can remember Uh, knee deep in the game, my pain heavy. Spin, spend my last chain in them chains. They ain't ready. Fuck them old niggas. Ooh, they so petty. Find a nigga like me, shit. They ain't many really. Spend a half a check on her ass. Well, guess what she told me? What? Guess what she tell me? I can't remember what the, what, what the rest was though. Damn, what she tell you? I was busy. That's why she never texts me. Let that deadbeat fuck shit wouldn't let me. Now she had her mama crib pregnant, barely 20, but hey, baby, y'all move on. Try to save your ass like an out-of-day coupon, but what's the use? I feel sorry for the things that that you've been through. Water under, the, water under the bridge, but I'd be damned if I let it through. I can't remember the rest. <laughs> I can see it, actually. I can see you trying to be like a lyrical Yeah, guy. I can't remember the rest, yeah. Like Ice Cube or some shit. I can see it. <laughs> Ice Cube is a crazy cop. Ice Cube. Ice shit. Cube is crazy. Ice Cube and shit, yeah. I'm waiting for John to say something. John is, John is, John, I know John is going to say something. <laughs> no, I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, John. John having nothing to say. So when did you realize rap was never going to work out for you? I just didn't. I just stopped trying as much as I used to. Yeah, but it's because you realized, though. Somebody had to click to that time. No, That's no, it was, good. you two just start picking up, honestly, in all honesty. So before YouTube pop, you still wanted to be a rapper? Still trying to find the studio. So YouTube didn't work. Stop. You would still be trying to rap? 
Yeah, I, when I when I shot the music video for that shit I just spit, I was at Walmart. I was actively at Walmart. No, I get Robert that. shot that. I was no. I'm, what I'm saying is, I started YouTube like literally a couple of weeks after I left Walmart. No, I'm not saying. I, well, I'm trying to say, Marcel. You know, like sometimes the sentence just disappears. No, I don't. I you know what I'm don't. talking. Yeah, I've been having a lot of like brain fog recently. I've been trying to like tough. play through it. What should I do? I don't know, dog. Drink a lot of water, right? I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna drink a lot of water. We'll see I, how that goes. Anyway, I'm glad your rap dreams didn't work out. YouTube's better than rapping anyway. You can do both. No. Well, what if I just drop some bars? For what? I just thought about. It. I did a fucking. We did a rap thing for playback. Yeah, we did. You that did was mid, this year. Yeah, you did med. Like, I mean, you destroyed me, but I'm awful. But I feel like if you practice yeah, more, say, you'd yeah. be, like, good. Yeah, I'm about to say. It, it was, might not be great, but you'd be good, though. I think... Um, like I'd listen to I, I'd turn you on Spotify. You might not be on my Spotify wrapped. I sound way better than I thought I was going to sound in that, in that shit. Yeah. I thought I was going to be, like, horrible. As I was rapping, I was like, man, this shit sounds so I fucking I think if fresh. you, like, knew what plugins to put on your shit, then you would sound, like, a lot better. And on top of that, that was a beat that I didn't select, and we had an hour to write. <laughs> yeah, true. True, actually. Yeah. It was a challenge more than anything else. I still came out. Maybe we need shirt. maybe we need to go back and you need to make like an actual real song. Like you need to put your best foot forward and just see like what you can make. In January, of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'll I'll take my time out for that right there in January. <laughs> January, February is when I'll start taking time out for that type of shit. Cause you just done saying that it's like, man, you just you just casually saying that in December, huh? Nah, nah, we should do it though, no cap. We should do it, or I'm just gonna. I'm just well, gonna I'm not gonna do it. But I'll go exactly, with you. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've, I've given I, was, up. I was like, we. I don't you? have rap dreams, so <laughs> I'll leave that for you, man. Oh man, yeah, and upload on Patreon, man. Yeah, or your or your second channel. My second channel is an NBA channel. Yeah, I don't know why neither. It's an NBA channel. Why not diversify? You talk about NBA everywhere. I can't get enough of it, dog. <laughs> Hey, he's not even lying. It's I can't. Yeah, part. I'm not even lying. <laughs> I signed up for fucking Twitter Spaces to talk about basketball even more. Yeah, no okay. cap. I genuinely love ba- talking about basketball. No cap. You cow. see, um, uh, damn, who was in there? I already forgot. Never mind, bro. In Twitter Spaces? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, now nah, I've been, I've been, I, I'm afraid to go in Twitter Spaces because I don't want to gas them. Yeah, I, I've, I recognize that too. Like any, when I go into Twitter Space, not only. Hey, I don't want to go into a Twitter space where like the title's like, damn low, this is what you this is what you want right now? Yeah, you was in a Twitter space slandering Curry yesterday. Oh, well, I would hope people know I'm trolling, so let's be clear. Um also, but no, I'm talking about like if I hop in the wrong Twitter space, it's happened to me before where they, they changed it about like um black relationships, and then it, they ch- someone just changed the title, bamboozled me. I just had it all to the side and I picked it up and it was like getting really heated. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? The fucking title went from black relationships to why women deserve less. And I was like, wow, this is just crazy right now. <laughs> so I was like, I need to get out this room. So I got why women deserve less is crazy. <laughs> so I got out that room. Y'all ain't be bamboozing no title. So I don't want to be in a room like that. And I've all seen a couple of niggas I follow on Twitter. And I was like, man, why are you in this moaning room? Have y'all heard about this? Yeah. John, have you heard about this? The moaning room? There, there's Twitter spaces where they yeah, in. Niggas just moan. Yeah, moan and act like they're getting head. It's crazy. Yeah. Act? Yes. Oh, they're not actually getting head? No, they're not actually getting head, Agent. Oh. I've never been in one of those rooms. I don't want to get screenshotted. I'm petrified. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. I want to go just to see. It's crazy. But I don't have a burner, so. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's the craziest thing. Like, they're dead ass, like, making slurping noise and acting like they're getting head. They're making their own noises? No, there's women in there who are slurping. Oh. And there's other men who are, like, making, like, What if I like noise. that shit? What? <laughs> Like, what if, what? I, what what? if that shit turns me on, though, dog? I need to try it out. See if that's for me. No cap. Shut the fuck up, agent. Yeah, you never just heard. You, have you never, I don't want to hear another nigga moan. Oh, the men are moaning? Yes. The I women are. Sh- but, I mean, the women are slurping and moaning, but the men are also moaning like they're enjoying head. Like, oh, man, this is, this is like that. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Exactly. But what if I like that shit? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, EJ. You're saying that. <laughs> I know. Like, what are you saying right now? Why you? Why did you put well, that right? Just, that's just like porn without video, though. <laughs> Yeah, that's all it is. It I don't, is I don't like. Happening. I don't. I don't like watching niggas get head on prawn. Well, that's one of my favorite categories. 
I get pissed. I'm like, why is this nigga get hit? What's going on? Like, you jealous? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> why do I want to see this nigga get sucked off? I got to see this nigga get fuck. God damn, I don't want to see this shit. Nah, I love that category. No, I much yeah, rather that's like. That's one of those underrated categories, no cap. I much rather watch lesbian or like self pleasure before I watch like. Stop, bro. You don't have to be that straight. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I, I like, I like. Toys. I've already, I've already said it before. I like, I like amateur Toys. porn. I can do stepsister. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie. It's too many. In the past couple months, there's been too many casual stepsister jokes made around me. Man, that's I, a category, bro. I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, yeah, Y'all yeah. gotta stop making those jokes. It's a stepsister. And prawn is not even the real stepsister. Know, but why even play? Why why are you playing like that? Is it? It's they're not really stuck in the laundry room, low when they're getting. Fucked. I know, but they're not really mother and daughter. So you're gonna watch mother and daughter prawn? No, no, I watch some some uh, some milf shit though. <laughs> but I know not, I get not that mother and daughter. Okay, but they're I not really but before. they're not really mother and daughter. I've watched it before, but they be dragging it though. They be like stepmom and like y'all different races and t- y'all different people. Stop, bro. You're not like stop. You're not for real. Wait, wait, time agent. There's a, there I've, was I've a, watched a lot of categories, bro. No cap. But like, just to experiment, though. You never watched course. this experiment? No, I know for there's nothing different between regular you porn. Just experiment. What you mean? Yeah, that's that? what I'm saying. Like, just to see what this category, bro. I watched it's the, the same wildest thing. shit. The, the wildest shit I ever watched. The only difference is now, they I'm just. I'm not sit. saying I enjoyed this. I'm just saying I watched it. All right. Oh. I technically skipped around, so I'd say I browsed. Nah, nigga, I like. Say it. I, I like. Nah, just say it. Don't. I scanned it. No, I scanned nigga, it. say it right okay, now. Okay, so there was this man, right? Chill out. I just started. <laughs> How you react before I get into anything? Chill out. You leading with there was this man. So there was this man, bro. And, and there was a suitcase and there was a female. Now, the okay. shit he was doing to her was wild, bro. Like, he started off, he just put her in different positions in the suitcase. Like, he had her tied up in it. In all the type suitcase? Of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, like, halfway through, I'm like, oh, okay. So I've never seen that. I'm like, this is so unique. But then he starts pissing on her. And I'm like, what the fuck? But... But then it gets crazier. They start getting you into stayed some like, after that. I was, I was again. I was skipping. Right? Oh, <laughs> but you got deeper into that. I mean, he was gonna stop. You weren't out of piss after like ten. I know, seconds. but like, there's other things he could do. Where I'm like, I don't need to keep going. The whole reason I clicked on it is because I was curious. So I had to fulfill <laughs> my curiosity. My curiosity ain't that crazy. Anyway, she was doing some wild shit to him, bro. She was like, mm. she definitely did not have a gag reflex. Yeah, my curiosity doesn't need to be fulfilled. My I, nigga, be alright. No Why clue. though? It'd be cool. Actually, you heard you know what's You heard that story about the. Are you girl? gonna have a dungeon like like? No, I'm not gonna with, have a dungeon. with like toys and shit. No, you're not gonna have that. No. So you're just gonna fuck on the same bed always. You want a dungeon to have sex on different beds? No, no, no. Like just different like uh, contraptions. <laughs> okay. All right. Yo, you start, you heard the story <laughs> with a girl. The girl she got um she got rejected by her family. Nah, it was a Facebook. It was a girl a Facebook. Sounds like a playback reaction. It actually is. It should be. Yeah, she did a um, send it to Caleb. Okay, but long. Just make it short so we don't spoil it. Hey Caleb, if you if you're paying attention, bro, I need you to have a UFO shine a light down on low. <laughs> That's crazy. And then the low can't move because he's too heavy, and then UFO heads off. So I need you to work on that. So like he, right mean, now. he needs Holy a. Shit. He needs That's a. That's crazy. Pick, he needs a. Pick, <laughs> Too heavy he needs he needs to, he needs to pick me up. He needs to act like he, he needs to, the UFO needs to struggle like they're trying to pick me up. Yeah. So good luck, Caleb. I just want to make sure you're paying attention. Is it me or every girl getting pregnant right now? Who else got That's pregnant? That's you, John. I, I just keep seeing hella baby bumps. Like nobody posts, but now they just pop out with baby bumps. Maybe it's like uh post. That's the reason why they bumps. didn't go. That's the reason why they've been missing for like the past wait, three months. Wait, wait. So there's the baby boomers that happened after World War II because everyone was fucking, right? What if... There's a there's COVID post, boomer? Yeah, there's a COVID boomers where after COVID, everybody's engaging in intercourse. The COVID contraceptors. The CCs. Yeah, boy. There's some girls I was like, dang. Dang what? You, they pregnant. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, I don't know how they feel. They don't I'm asking me. you. Oh, you don't care. Like, what's I it care, to you? I care less. I you know, you're not shits. one of them niggas who are like, damn. I wish that could be me. Now that's crazy. Hell no. That's, I wish that could be me. It's crazy. Yeah, girl, don't wish that on me. <laughs> I don't want no kid right now. I wish do you want? Do you want? Do you want kids at all? Uh, no. Well, when I when I want them, I I don't know. But do you foresee children in your future? I don't see them right now. 
Okay. But they in my future. I just don't see. Oh, right, 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 that's one. Bro, bro, briefly on Facebook, there was this girl. She did the hardcore prawn, like where they slap and spit on her and choke her and and piss on her and make her eat her own vomit and stuff like that. And like to the point where they're like, yeah, you got, and they'll talk crazy. They're like, yeah, where's your father? And he's like, he left me. He's like, oh, you got daddy issues, right? And like just crazy, just doing crazy, the crazy dirty stuff. dirty talk was you got daddy issues? <laughs> yeah. And like insulting her, like, yeah, you're just a dumb, dumb, this, that, and a third, but she apparently likes it. So the family completely rejected her and stuff like that. After and they it, saw the video? Yeah, after they saw the video and stuff like that. They, like, they rejected her. And then she went on Facebook Live all upset. About like why would they do that to me? Da da da. da. Like and, if, and then she was talking to I guess her friends or something like that. And she was like saying, if you really think about, it, they were nice. Like they they got an Uber for me and stuff like that to get me over there. And then even her people who are like talking to her Facebook was like, nigga, a, a Uber is what made them nice. Like that's all they did after they. But even though later on they just slapped and spit on you and and choked you no, and all that's that stuff. Fine. Like the slap and spit is more like is more. You shouldn't be surprised your family has that reaction. Some women just like being. Thrown around No but the way It's hard for me to explain this I, I get what you're saying though I don't think you do actually <laughs> Why would she, she She's confused Her family disown her Part of me is oh. like Isn't it the family's fault Like the family raised you can her definitely, You can definitely Make that argument right? That's what some people Are making arguments about But let's, you know let's, 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 up, let's oh, Let me just be very clear This is Hardcore Yeah, yeah I believe you Like I'm getting choked And I'm storing you Or slamming you Pissing on you Slapping you, not slap like like yeah, to the point that. where like you're like, is she hurt? Yeah, like oh, we're okay. like, so that's different. Yeah, where you're like, man, you're gonna say stop in some school, or this is all just a part of it. Okay, wow, okay, so you're just gonna keep going. I always wondered like, what do people do the day after? Like, if you, I have no idea. Like, how do you walk straight? How do you talk after like someone? Not like, even a day, just like the moment you leave and they just give you two hundred bucks. Like, what do you do? Like do you nah, tell if you yourself do that for two hundred bucks, you're crazy. <laughs> two hundred is nuts, or whatever. Let's just say you even if, made that from the little free apps on Instagram. Even if it's five hundred though, that's still like you had to add a couple zeros for me. I'm not. Am I getting? Beat they're not. Fast, let's be clear. Disrespected for five hundred. Let's be clear. They're not <laughs> paying me five hundred dollars, but they're not paying them crazy. They're paying yeah, them. Just, girls get paid a lot. Well, she no. I'm um, in in this specific genre of prawn. They're not getting paid a lot. That's the whole thing is that they're purposely choosing to be disrespected. She likes that shit. But to the extent... That's so odd. It, it's... But it was a girl I used to date who like... She was like, I like it rough. I was like, okay. But you know, sometimes you hear that and you just think like... It's like when you walk into a restaurant and they're like, it's spicy. And I'm like, mm, now that can mean so many things depending on how you said it. You and feel then, me? And then you eat it, you're like, I got a little, little kick to it. Yeah, but then if you go to an African spot and they say spicy, you believe them. <laughs> yeah. Or else you can leave in stitches. Yeah. So in this case, I was like, oh, word, okay, all right. But then she kept having to remind me. She's like, no, like, like rougher. So then I I literally stopped what I was doing just to like test like how how rougher though. So then she's like, okay, let's go. So it's like, okay, slap me. I slap her. She was like, nah, like oh, way harder. Way harder. And way harder. to the point where I just felt like I was violating her. I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> like, but to them though, I can't, I can't do like this is not gonna work out. The men they were like harder. They like that shit. They're like, all right, bet. She started winding up. Yep. Boom. And start slapping the shit. Damn. I wouldn't feel it. Just feel wrong. Yeah, it just feel like I'm coming. You just feel like it, this is a crime. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like I'm You're not, like, man. Like, am I? You mean slap you hard? Enough? Like, if you tell me you enjoy getting shot in the kneecap by nine millimeter, I'm not shooting you in the kneecap with a nine millimeter. I'm just not gonna do it. Yeah. Also, um, I also want to get a weird sexual kink though. It would be there's weird. Shoot there's me. like very odd ones though out there though. I know. Like real crazy. Mm -hmm. But no, like what's we, the wildest one you've seen? The one I'm talking about right now. That's the the shit they do. I'm like, why? Like, I even when I watch, I was like, who likes this? Like, why? Who are the men who actually watch this and were like, yeah, they have a lot of views? Yeah, this is like a very, very popular thing. This is the Damn. same thing that Lana rolled or whatever we were reacting to her was. That's what she did. That's yeah. what she was referring to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It may be even an extreme, more extreme version of that, but it's like very, it's highly viewed. And I'm like, why do y'all watch this? Like, this is. Yeah, what part of this is like turning y'all on, bro? Yeah, it's really hard for me to explain this. I, I I believe you, bro. Like by the time they get done, whole face is teary eyed, yep. spit all over their face. They're red like a tomato. Red, 
like vom the vomit that they threw up and then they ate yeah, back up again. It's like fucking, yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. that's bad. And so I'm, I'm like, why the hell? Like, imagine a nigga masturbating to that. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. And nigga getting hard and finishing to that is crazy. I feel like you do that though. I don't know why. No, why I, I, I rich about the drop. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He been oh, and Adele, Adele did eight fifty in one week in the first week. Is that an all time record? No, Adele dropped. What the fuck? No. Okay, that's all time record in the last. I decade. didn't even know she dropped. Did she promo? It? Yeah, she did drop. And you just not Where in the bubble. I'm gonna say you just black apparently. You just not in the Adele bubble, but everybody else knows she dropped though. Oh, she did eight fifty and eight fifty in the first week. Oh, you talking about this actual yeah. album? Um, um, I it's, some of the songs, some of her songs always have to grow on me. But it's 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 right. Someone says shit like that. <laughs> just so say you don't like good. it. So just say you don't like it. Listen, just wasn't, <laughs> wasn't but that's that's off. most. But that's most albums I listen to. My first listen, to, my first listen, is drastically different from my fifth and tenth. I mean, like listen. you ever hear something you like? This is really good, and it just gets better. So anything touch you now? Any tracks like touch you now that you would recommend? Like, yeah, this song really was good to you. Probably not. Nothing. I don't think you listen to it, bro. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I, he, I, well, you talking about Dale? Oh, yeah. I actually. I mean, I, I guess she's a singer. Thing, but I actually, I actually have like a few her like CDs when I was when I um graduated high school and I what you call it? I bought her CDs. No cap. I don't know why. I just don't believe you listen to this recent album. Sing, send me uh, a song. I can't sing, John. <laughs> I don't believe him, though. <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't yeah, believe you. Yeah. I don't believe you listen to this Dale. album at all, bro. I don't believe you. I don't know why. <laughs> I think he just said it to say. You know, so crazy. <laughs> Baby King was on my Spotify thing. Uh, yeah, he, I was surprised he wasn't on mine from how I was abusing his music. Yeah, I think it's just because he dropped later in the year. Baby Bro, King, I, how you see that? You go to Spotify. Yeah. You got it on your mobile device. Yeah, no, I'm going, I'm see what I, got. I couldn't do it on desktop. Too. Oh wow, really? Yeah, it had to be on mobile. When the I first did it in 2016, song? it was on my computer. No, it's on. Huh? My top, my top five artist was Drake, Kanye. Yours, Baby yours isn't King. a real top five though, Marcel. How? So how do you see that? You're just not a real top five because you had like under a thousand minutes to listen to you. Oh yeah, most of my app. stuff is on uh, Apple now. Yeah, Apple so music. that's that's what I'm saying. It's not. But real but realistically speaking, though, that is literally <laughs> the only niggas I listen to even on on Apple. Does Apple do that too? I can't, I can't even see it. Where is it? Your top. There's like it's almost like a story thing where like you click in the middle oh, of the thing and they'll story. yeah you have to go all the way to the back. Don't play it though because like they'll play your, the the songs that you listen to throughout the um. Out the year, yeah. My my top five was Lil Baby at one, just because he dropped a lot of music this year and it was good. It was fantastic, actually. A Boogie, this is the first year. A Boogie's at two. A, this is my first year in like three years. A Boogie wasn't number one, and I swear it's just because Lil Baby dropped more music. Polo G is three, uh, which kind of surprised me. Jeremy Zucker is four. I thought he'd be higher, and Drake is five. Drake is always on my top five. Yeah, mine's just Drake, Kanye, Cole, Baby Keem, and Twenty One Savage. Okay, the day, okay, if, okay. if it was um if it was um Apple, it wouldn't be Twenty One Savage. It would be Baby. It would be Lil Baby. And then oh dang, Cole Cole probably would have been at the bottom. It probably would have been Cole fifth, Lil Baby fourth, Baby Keem three, Drake two, and Kanye first. That's what I'm mine's assuming. Kind of crazy. I didn't expect it. Oh, what is it, John? Billy Iris, Erica Badu. Billy Eilish. I just fuck with you. I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Billy Eilish. That threw me for a loop. John I'm listening to Billy Eilish. Uh, I got Rod Wave number one, yeah. Lil Dirt number two, mm -hmm. Moneybag Yo number three, Baby Four, Drake Five. I can see that. Moneybag Yo, yo, Moneybag Yo is like a low key underrated rapper. No cap. Nah, he's not great, but like I don't think people like give him his credit for like. Like when you put him on Moneybag Yo is like a everybody kind of can vibe out to him type of type no. of artist. For real, you don't think so? Genre is he's he's way more popular in the South. Is what? Melly, Melly. You could do it, John. Say it. M melodic? melodic? Melodic. Melodic rap. rap. Okay. Me too. You no, said, mine was pop you rap. You said mine was pop rap. So. Yeah. And then after that, it was Chicago rap. And after that, it was Atlanta rap. And then it was um, Melionic rap. rap. Melionic. Like yeah. YM and Melly. <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, um, baby would have been on my top five too if it was Apple. Yeah, I like how Apple just copied Spotify because Spotify has been doing this for like five years now. Yeah, and Apple's like, yeah, we're gonna do that now too. How do you think <laughs> you see that on uh, uh, Apple? Oh, I don't know. Someone sent me a screenshot. Oh, yeah. What's up? Uh, what about to say? Um, 
I don't use uh, Apple Pod. I mean, Apple Music. I use it a lot, actually. No, um, no, eight fifty is not a not a record. Maybe recently, maybe so. But you know, Wayne um, Carter Four did a hundred. It did a million in the uh, first week. The Carter Four. Carter Four. Is that the one with the baby on it? The one we were growing up in. in That's Carter was, Three. Carter Three. Yeah. I did a million in the first. In if the Carter Four did a million, I'd have been mind blown. <laughs> It wasn't a bad album. It just wasn't a million first week. Um, yeah, that did a million the first week. Yeah, I can see the Carter. Yeah, Carter did a million. That was an incredible, incredible album. album. Yeah, incredible. Okay. I actually need to buy that. Um, I want to buy that. Um, what is it called? Vinyl. Vinyl. Yeah, because that yeah. that's definitely a classic album. Yeah, that's definitely a classic, classic for a minute for a classic. Kanye, I was, I was, I was, on, I was almost going to say that the Kanye was classic. I was like, ah, no, it's not. Which Kanye? The one that just dropped this year, Donda. It's not a classic. Yeah, it's not a classic. No, no. It says some good music, but it's not a classic. That's not even that Drake anything. album also gets worse as time progresses. No, bro. That shit keeps getting better. You know the thing about better? Drake? The thing about Drake is, bro, nah, that like, get better. you appreciate his music after you get sick of his music. Like, when, when the album first dropped, people had, oh, these are the two hits. And then a month later, uh, the one with 21 Savage, Knife Talk, is on the top rap. Campaign. I've always liked that, though. And then two weeks later... Uh, the one with Travis Scott is at the top of rap. Caviar. I don't like this one. Like it's like every two weeks is like, oh shit, this was on the album too. Everyone starts listening to this. I don't know how to explain it, but like he just, yeah, he's deep, dog. He's just real deep, man. The Those twenty one, the twenty one Savage song was one of the first songs I liked after my like first or second listen to. So I don't know how people didn't listen to that. Just everyone has a different sound. I didn't like that song at all at first. To me, then, even right now, like the that fucking um. Too sexy song. I can't. I can't do that for the life of me. Oh, where? I don't know how people got into that song. I've yeah. and I've I've tried over and over and over again. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know how y'all niggas get into it. And then Thug. I think Thug make that shit worse, which is crazy. Yeah, I think John missed the opportunity to call you old right there. I liked it. It was fun. No, I just saw this lie. Somebody this is a post on my men really believe in women ain't had sex in months. If a girl tells you, yeah, I've had sex in like four or five months, six months. I've just been celibate. It was a girl that told me two years, bro. That's crazy. Two years is crazy. Lying. <laughs> two years is like you, you don't even have to tell me that. You s- Lying. just say you took you just took you like, like a couple yeah, months. What's going on with it? Oh yeah, for sure. You've been celibate. Oh okay, okay. Two years. I also why, but why though? When they say Six that, months? But, <laughs> that's crazy. But why though? Why be celibate? I don't why believe, I don't? I could believe a month. Maybe but if, two. But if that wasn't, but if that really wasn't you to begin with, why did you just decide randomly I'm going to be celibate now? Why? Bro, it's the same because way. you got too much. It, it, my, my thing is, if a girl says she being celibate now, and I know she was fucking before, I mean she just tired of dick. She been getting fucked so many times. She but that's fair. But why then? Why do quote unquote two years? That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like why? Why? Why did you randomly just choose two that's years? Almost 700 days of no dick. Why? Why that would is you a say lie. that? Like if I said that, yeah, I didn't even challenge her. Nobody would believe. Nobody believe. I, I didn't even challenge. I was like, oh word. I nobody. Just looked, I just looked at her like I'd be like, oh, but really? She said, yeah. I haven't had anything since my answer. We broke up like a while. Mm-hmm. So you ain't hit that nigga up at all in between. Yo, okay. So then, uh, I, I didn't really care either way to be honest with you. But then she pulled out this like collection. I could, bro. It was such a deep collection of toys that I was like, oh. Wait, what? What does that mean? Like she just had a lot of vibrators, bro. Like okay, a lot. Like they horny. all of them had like different functions. If she got all them vibrators, she's horny as fuck. It's gonna be one day she wants some real thing. It it's like it yeah. two years. It's, about, is that a red flag? I don't know. It might. What the, what the nigga she fucking bought of those? Why it's is she keeping hand? them? Because she like. I mean, he bought it for her. I mean, like like she used it on. Okay, but, but okay, one or two maybe, but. If you get like over five toys, like what are we? What are you doing? Like what? Are, it's it's one whole one click. Like what are we talking about right now? Nah, there's different types. Different like types. and they have different shapes. I, I all get. That's and there's why ones I, that like can vibrate like different areas. All understandable. And they have like different that's vibrating what, what patterns. I, I get that. All understandable. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, once you get the thing that does the vibrating, you get boring. That's like that's like you just fucking the same. So girl then, forever. just go to another penis then. But she's trying. Wait, wait, wait. What are you? What are you talking about? Just yeah, go fuck talking? a penis. If you get tired of the vibrator, go fuck a penis. Then what she, are we talking? Uh, that's what I'm saying. She do. <laughs> but when she want to be anti dick, anti nigga, I'm independent. I don't. Uh, anti dick is crazy. She buy, 
she buy those toys. And she need different toys so it can feel like different niggas until a nigga rizz her up. That, if that's true, that's crazy. You mind different toys because you want the sensation mentally of you fucking a new nigga now? Because it's think, nuts. Your, bo- your mind mentally going to get used to the same kind of climax. So you do the same thing over, you're going to be the climax. But that's way. crazy because men are not like that. Like, I don't need a new set of hands to masturbate. It's the same ones been doing it for my whole nah. entire life. But no, they said it's bad. They said it's bad for you. Nah, because you should definitely be switching sex. it up, bro. Because it messes up your it's brain. It's only two hands, nigga. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, do that's why like, niggas like, like do, do it upside down or something. Just do something. No, different. there's no way y'all uh, niggas do, do it anything. upside down. Use your elbows. Or elbow. get some pussy. <laughs> there's no way. Or get some pussy. I know, but we just, we just talk about masturbating. But yeah, they said that's bad for you because it's like it programs your mind. Like, like when you when you nut, it's like a release. So your brain only gets comfortable with you. Talking about for men. Yeah. Say, say Doesn't that again. go for, for women though as but well? Say it again. I just trying to clarify. That's why women have different toys. But he's saying for men. But for men, yeah, they said, said if you like beat your meat a lot and you're not getting no type of player, you're just beating it because you maybe you just maybe you anti girl or you're just trying to focus. I don't know, whatever whatever reason is you beating your meat three or four times a day. Whatever you're doing. Okay, well, we, never said, we never said to that. Three times a day is nice. Okay, but what he's saying, what he's saying is you beat your meat with your hand. That's if you do it repetitively. That's a bad thing because when you release, it sends dopamine to your brain. Yep. That is then telling you like that's the only way that you're going to exactly. not be. That's is the easiest your way you're going to do. Yeah, that's the easiest way. Yeah, to do exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. way. So, so now if you bro, if you that, actually and that fuck apply to somebody's but it was harder a girl than that. Uh, I used to date, bro. I didn't know how to get her off at all. Like if it was like a challenge, I was trying to figure it out, bro. One time, one day she brought one of her vibrators with her. And I used it, bro, in under one minute and 30 seconds. It was like a combo using the vibrator and organic tools. And, uh, bro, fucking two minutes, she was done. I was like, this is incredible. Will you use a vibrator tool on her? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like the thing about but but like, you got to learn it. I, I mean, how do you, how you feel about game. that? I didn't, I didn't mind I don't it. I know. I shouldn't give it to them. They got to pay for this. Patreon. Uh, next time yeah, we, we should put this on Patreon. No cap. We already started on Patreon. So what you want to say, John? <laughs> All right. So we're back. We're back, guys. Yo, uh, any last words on the podcast? You can really keep that in there if y'all don't care. Yeah, we can. No, we can. We're going to no, keep we it. We can definitely I'll, put that on Patreon. Yeah, all that's going to Patreon. We're oh, now yeah, back, bro. though. We're okay, now back. we're back. Hey, this shout Patreon out to the Patreon to game, man. No, we're back to Peter Peer now. Patreon.com oh, so slash no, playback. No. So Peter Peer missed all that good action, so they have to go where to get it. They gotta go to Patreon, man. All the links in the description. Click the link in the all description. All my wrist tips. Now, nah, when we when we all get your that, wrist tips. when you get that graphic, you can't even post it on this website. There's a ladybug in that light. Crazy. I don't know how it happened, but hey, man, if y'all enjoyed the podcast, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We got our YouTube. The video is available at YouTube at Peer to Peer and all audio platforms. Make sure to make sure to turn on the notifications and go. No, the gang, 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 gang. Word of mouth, people. Y'all been showing love, man. The amount of people sending me their Spotify wrapped and Peer to Peer is their top podcast. There's a lot of love. We appreciate all the success. You guys have blessed us with this year, man, all the support. If there's anything you guys want us to change or do better, let us know. We're actually, well, I'm thinking about upgrading these cameras soon. For some reason, they're just not good enough. I don't know if it's just the lighting. The lighting seems fine. But anyway, we'll make some production improvements to the podcast and things of that nature. But um, on that note, man, do you have any final words, Law? No final words. Thank y'all all, all the ways. And the only reason why I'm twitching right now and move my legs because I got to use a restroom. That's it. Uh, John, any final words? No more locked doors. <laughs> That's all I got to say. No more locked doors. <laughs> he sounds just like Smiley. Hey, on that note, we'll catch you guys in the next podcast. Peace. <laughs>